And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting one today because it's solo men's time and we're debuting the epic card game digital on the camp. It's going to be sick. I don't know if you guys got the notification from our good buddies over at White Wizard Games, the folks that made what we're fans of, Star Realms. Uh, we've played that on stream here. I've gotten destroyed by you guys by that on here. And for a while, Lyle and I were super addicted uh, to Star Realms, just like we got into Ascension back in the day when we got all into the deck builders and all the good stuff. So we know there's fans of Hero Realms here in the camp. Um, and now White Wizard Games is coming out with Epic Card Game Digital, which was kickstarted um, by fans and uh, followers of White Wizard Games um, as a TCG that is kind of like pre-built. You don't have to go chasing cards. You're not going to be going after the, the meta breaking cards like you would in something like Magic the Gathering where or Pokemon or whatever, where you need to get that meta deck, right? There's that one epic card to even be competitive. No, Epic Card Game is one of those games where it's kind of like Keyforge. You know, we're fans here of the, the game that shall not be named that we played too much and are still probably way too addicted to. Um, this idea of the secondary market, this idea of there being a meta-breaking thing that you need to spend tons of time finding or digging around in to even, I don't know, feel like you can have a competitive deck in this game. Well, the idea, I think, with White Wizard is they wanted their version of this, and they created Epic Card Game. It is a physical game. Um, but now they've made it digital, and it's um, it's going to be coming out on Steam, I believe, according to their email, tomorrow. So we're jumping on the hype since it's solo mittens today. Um, I believe 221, they said Steam availability is going to happen, but it is currently available on iOS, Android uh, right now, which today I am borrowing the wife's iPad because the camp iPad that we usually use for our uh, companion apps and stuff is uh, bad mode. <laughs> it's getting old, man. I think I got it. Man, is there a date on it? Uh, I mean, they don't even make them. It's an iPad mini, um, which they stopped making, which the form factor is amazing. I got it for my birthday. like So it would have been pre-camp, so over five years ago. Uh, so it would have been over five, almost six, maybe six, seven years old. And uh, this device is um, it's aging. So I the game runs really well on it. Not I'm not saying the game doesn't run on it. Um, it runs great on my phone, but she has a newer iPad, so we're going to be using that today. So it's going to be fun. We're gonna, it's going to be fun. You're going to see me kind of keeping the I iPad awake as we do this. But yes, we'll be using the iOS version um, of the game, which you can see here real quick. little sneak peek. Oh, menus. Hype. Um, so that's why it's a little bit squishied in. I did have it on my phone um, at 1080, uh, and it was looking great. Filled up the whole screen for you guys, so it does adjust you know based on your viewing screen um but because it's not out on steam yet um we're gonna play it ios style so go get it now it's free and like i said what's cool about this is that everything's free about it you get all the cards all the stuff you can do all the like deck building stuff the campaign versus the ai um you're not going out and buying like booster packs or anything like that the only thing they're charging you for i believe in the store is going to be like special foils if you want looks, stuff like that, I believe there's going to be competitive um, aspects about the game uh, in terms of, you know, if you want to try to win prizes and stuff like that. I think those entries might cost money. And I think they do that same. I, I can't confirm this 100%, um, but I think Star Realms has similar type stuff. I know when I was playing Star Realms more, I was trying to get on like the competitive ladder uh, and I got destroyed. So I never knew if you ever had to play like entry fees and stuff like that. Um, so check it out. Go check it out. Go try it out for yourself. I will say <laughs> that, and you'll see in my tweet and the fact that I'm kind of doing this like on a whim because I got the email from White Wizard. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember that game. Uh, I am bad at this. I am bad at it in the same aspect that I am bad at Magic the Gathering. <laughs> like Keyforge hit a certain spot for me coming off of like my most played card game. Um, I played Magic way back when, but not at a level that was good. Like I was bad. I was bad at like Magic. Um, and then I got into, I stepped away from like the deck, like the TCG stuff, um, and then started playing Hearthstone. I think like a lot of people did, got exposed to that on, uh, you know, on mobile and on PC. Was really excited about that because of the Warcraft universe, and that got me back into playing games like this. Um, and uh, really got excited about Magic again with Lyle. We started messing with Magic again, but I found that grasping the idea of like magic the gathering in a competitive like i'm a big fan of day nine and he's does he's been recently doing a lot of stuff on on the online arena thing 
And it's just like something about the phases and something about the, just knowing the card pool and understanding like everything from phase strategy to board control to should I attack, should I defend? Like I am just like really noob on that. So if you're here to see some next level play, I'm not saying you're in a bad place because you're the best camp on Twitch, but I am going to say that you're not going to get it from me and you'll probably be ripping your hair out even more so than I have. <laughs> As you can see, I've done it a lot uh, with my strategic choices. But I do have big ears, and these big ears are here to learn, and these eyes are here to learn as well. So as I make my mistakes, I need you guys to help me with this base strategy. Now, this game, like I said at the beginning, was designed by, I, I believe, Robert Daughtry uh, from White Wizard Games, uh, as well as Rob, uh, as well as Darwin Castle. Uh, both Hall of Fame, they say, Magic the Gathering players. So... If you're a Magic fan, uh, you're going to see a lot of aspects about this that are the same. I think they changed. They do some similar mechanics with uh, keywords um, that I recognize from Magic and that I recognized from Hearthstone and that I recognize. But they're just calling them their own thing inside these attack and defensive phases um, instead of like instances or whatever they call them, you know, in, in Magic. Um, they're called uh, events. You know, there's stuff like that. So there's a lot of similar strategy placed in a TCG that you buy the box, you can play the game. That's it. You buy the box physically, or you, you download this game for free. It's all free. Everything's there, and uh, you can build decks. You can do everything, and it's just like the card pools are available to everyone, so it's a, it's almost like an even playing ground. That's it. That's it. So that's why I'm excited about it. I think it's worth checking out. I'm just bad at it. But before we get into that, Stavader kicked off the day with an awesome, uh, awesome sub. Thank you so much for those eight months, dude. Let's spin this wheel for you, sir, as a celebration of the game right here let's get you guys going um and then uh, i have to say this morning has been one of those mornings that is like i don't know if, if you guys get these i'm sure everyone gets these every once in a while but, oh he makes it rain I'll, I'll tell you why this is good i'm gonna tell you why this is good and real soon here so everyone gets 25 crits if you're hanging out in the twitch chat right now let's do this bonus oh, i have to reach around this ipad there we go 25 crits courtesy of stevator uh man i, I just lost my train of thought that's cool. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh, I will say right here. Why is it good that you're getting these crits and all this good stuff? I forgot what I was even getting at there. I was just uh, celebrating you guys and saying thanks for all the support. Um, coming up on uh, Monday. Oh, it was a busy morning. It was a busy morning. See, my head is like shot. My head is shot. My head is shot right now. It was a busy morning. We've been working out new friendships, working out new deals, figuring out our schedule, um, both personally. Like you see, Lyle's not even here. He's busy working at home. He's doing construction, I think. He's going to kill himself in his attic. Uh, I'm, you know, working out stuff just professionally separate from the camp and then stuff for the camp as well. It all compounds in one morning. Those crazy mornings where like, uh, you know, I'm just going to set up for some epic card game digital stuff, maybe do some graphics work, you know, set up this little intro screen for you all. That's all I got to do. And then I just got to go and have some fun. No. Two hours later, I'm like, like on the computer, answering phone calls, taking it, you know, text, e email, email, email. This isn't working. Oh, this is great. Oh, thank you so much for the email. That, oh, that's working. Okay, got to set up for this. I got to schedule in the future. Ah, and then you're just like, whoa, right to air, literally all the way till air. It was busy, but I'm excited because so many new things are happening. And one of the big things we have to announce today is the fact that we're going to be, and we've kind of talked about this a little bit over the last few months from playing it physically up to knowing there's a digital edition and wanting to get in on it. Um, and uh, most recently, building up our relationship with Nomad Games, Mystic Vale is going to come to the camp digitally on Monday, February 24th, for the first time on the day stream, 11 a.m. Eastern time, guys. Come hang out with us. We're going to be playing the Mystic Vale app. Um, available via Steam. This is available on iOS and Android and stuff, base game, and they're going to be releasing some good stuff. Now, the big thing, and the big thing we're jumping on and, and building up a friendship with Nomad Games and our good friends over at AEG as well, uh, is the fact that Mystic Veil Digital is going to be coming to the Switch on March 12th. What? So now, but Nomad's asked us to help build some hype with that, and we it just works for us because we've been wanting to build the hype um, for Mystic Veil vale. anyway. We've been talking about it, and we want to play the expansions. We thought the base game of Mystic Veil, vale, although it's the card sleever's dream board game, if you like sleeving cards, that's the game for you, man, because that's all you do. The card sleeving system is insane. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it looks cool. It's got all kinds of clear cards. You're sticking in giant sleeves, and you're just getting that tactile feel, and then flipping down really... You, you, I mean, at one point, I think you, you have like three or four cards, thick, 
plastic cards inside sleeves. It, it feels chunky. It's a chunky game. Um, we're going to be doing digitally, but I'm talking about the physical game. But um, we did feel that the base game was a little, uh, a little too, uh, like, it needed more. We felt like it needed more battle aspects, ways to almost attack your opponent. Um, if you don't like that, it's, it's, it's great. It's really easy to play. It's really easy to get into. Um, I think it's a great deck builder for people that um, maybe aren't into hardcore deck builders like an Ascension or, or, or something like that. Uh, but we, there's multiple expansions that are coming out for Mystic Veil, and we want to hop on that train, and we want to show you guys what it's about, and we're going to experience it, we're going to have some fun, and hey, there may be some promotional giveaways happening coming up, so get hyped! Save those crits you earn by watching us, subbing to us, hanging out with the camp, and just having fun, we appreciate it, guys. So there's a little promotion once again on Monday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be playing Mystic Veil Digital for the first time uh, here on the camp uh, in celebration for the March 12th release on Nintendo Switch now that we're all Switch fans uh there's a lot of stuff going on and Nomad's been a busy busy developer of board games to digital games uh great people good folks over there in the UK we've said head to them over the pond and they were fun to talk to so we're gonna be playing some of their titles uh some more like we've already done Talisman Digital we've already done Smash Up with them and now we're just gonna throw Mystic Veil into the mix and there's more Smash Up material to come there's more Talisman material to come um on top of everything else and all the other relationships we have uh throughout the industry so Guys, get excited. 2020 is going to be uh, kicking off pretty well, pretty well. So join us on Monday. Join us on Monday. It's going to be a lot of fun. But today, we're here to draw our swords and play some epic card game digital uh, via iOS. So are you guys... So I'm, if you can't tell, my voice might be a little nervous. I'm a little like... Uh, 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 <laughs> as as, as uh, these games are intimidating to me, Um, you know... I, I, there's there's a lot to learn. Like I said, I, I try to learn them, and then my background in Magic the Gathering is weak, so there's a lot of aspects people are going to be like, it's just like Magic the Gathering, let's fire off music. Let's get the music going, iPad. Oh, it's the chill music at the moment. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, we had the tabletop audio stuff going, and now it's... Uh, we're going to go into the main screen, I guess, and we're going to play some epic card game digital, because Chris needs to slow his voice down. Yes, epic card game digital edition right here. Let's just... Yeah. What's up, Filth? Good to see ya. He says, catching a live stream for the first time in a while. Good to see you, man, as we have the epic card game digital. Before I stress out and play horribly here, live for you, get ready. <laughs> now, I will say you might hear little clicks and pops. That is not the game. The app runs very cleanly. It runs very well. Um, it's just my my mirroring app um, via the interwebs, via the m local network. You might hear some artifacts here and there or some graphical slowdowns and stuff. I'm trying to run everything as, as nicely as possible. As you can see, I'm using the HDR running graphics quality ultra. If I need to adjust that, we will. Um, but I want to make sure the game looks as beautiful as it can via iOS. Because after today, tomorrow you can get this on Steam. And from then on, we'll probably be playing it on Steam unless I'm laying in bed and taking you campers on and I actually want to try to get good at this game because I'm not good. Um, Bill is asking, as we, I'm going to turn down this awesomely chill music going on. Uh, am I doing the campaign or am I going to play online versus? Uh, first, I'm going to start by just playing against the AI. I'm really, here's my strategy. I really just sort of need to learn, one, the card pool. Now, if you go to play versus AI with this awesome dinosaur face or dragon face, you've got... There's four different, I'm going to call them factions, but they're not factions. I'm sure the, the word for them is different. Um, and we're in beginner mode. There's good, there's evil, there's sage, and there's wild type factions. Now, the only one I've messed with is evil, because I just feel like it's kind of like the aggro class, um, where you're just killing things, you're wiping the board, um, and going hard at each other. Now, I'm not going to go into the tutorial and run through the tutorial with you guys. I'll kind of just explain as things happen. If if you'd like me to run the tutorial, I'm happy to. They do um, about a four or five part, really clear, very clean tutorial. Um, so, but like I said, there's a, a lot of this is very, takes a lot from Magic the Gathering in terms of phases and so forth. So I haven't been here since my boy was born. Now we're watching together. He chills with me on the couch. Oh, that's awesome. What's up, Phil? Son of, son of Phil. Welcome to the camp. Welcome to the camp. I was explaining yesterday. So we're going to start with evil, guys. They are evil as chaos. It breaks the rules, bringing demons and zombies into the game. 
In other words, it's aggro zoo lock. Let's have some fun with aggro zoo lock because that's what we're going to do. Main phase. So I'm going to leave tooltips on and everything so you guys can learn with me <laughs> and help me with things. If you have any questions, I've run the tutorial. I'll do my best to explain what's happening. Um, but like I said, oh, let me turn down. Let me turn down the game just a little bit more here. It's very loud. Um, and we'll have some fun. Uh, but I will say I've been started, started playing Unraveled 2 Filth with my son on the Switch. Uh, we're learning a lot about father-son, he's six now, father-son gamer interaction. So, I'm, I don't know if you've experienced that yet, but it's like, just, just help me get on the platform! <laughs> it's a blast though, man, it's a blast. Um, so, what are we looking at here? Basically, in this game, our goal is... Very similar to Magic the Gathering or other TCGs. We're trying to get my opponent, the AI in the north, just north of me up there, from 30 health down to zero. Um, on your turn, instead of mana and that kind of thing, you have gold. As you can see in the bottom left of our profile, um, you start with one gold. I've never had more than one gold. Maybe there's cards that give you more than one gold. I don't know. I haven't experienced it yet. Um, but that one gold has to do with cards you're going to draw into your hand. Um, that one gold allows you to play cards that have a cost, which is in the top right corner of the card. So, like, for instance, this Tri-Horror, uh, in the top right corner is the cost to play that card. Um, you can play cards different times. Um, in the main phase, since it's my turn, you can put creatures down, or champions in this game. Uh, the health is 12. No, 12 is the attack value. And then the health, if you will, is their shield value over there. Now, the shield, if that shield ever, what they call, breaks... So if I ever take 12 damage with this Tri Horror, it will be destroyed. It will be gone. It will go to my uh, discard pile. So you don't you you do sort of have a health value, but it's the shield value is your health. So 12 on the swords is your attack value, and the shield is your health value. Um, you're gonna see all kinds of different keywords like breakthrough, which is kind of like trample, I believe, from Magic, uh, where you do some damage. Any leftover damage will attack the player. They just call it breakthrough. Uh, the different types, the fact that this is a demon, and the fact that in the top left corner you see the card type as being, or in its name, evil. Card counts as a card evil alignment. And this is kind of like something I realized is more like, I don't know if this comes from magic as well, but I'll reference, it reminds me more of Ascension when you play, you know, another uh, type of card like Enlightened. You know, you know if, if, you, if you play another Enlightened card, ah, you get a bonus, that kind of thing. So... Uh, that's what the evil thing is. And that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, at the beginning of the game, you draw five cards each. Uh, and then you can do the mulligan phase here. I'm not going to discard that. Um, the mulligan phase works just like it says on the, on the screen here. Choose any number of cards and put them on the bottom of your deck. Then you can draw that many cards. You lose one health for each card chosen. So mulligan phase, you can take damage to swap out stuff you want to swap out out of your hand. Uh, Phil says his son's only six months old. He's got a bit of time uh, before that. Yeah, okay, man. Yeah, in time, in time. Board games too, man. Board games too. My two-year-old, we're not there yet with my two-year-old. My two-year-old, he's he's interested in the games, of course, um, but he's more interested in throwing the games. <laughs> and I don't mean by giving up or conceding. I mean by literally throwing the pieces. Um, and yes, this is by the same people who made Star Realms and Hero Realms. Yep, White Wizard Games. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a very similar rule. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, very good call from Star Realms. Like, if you play, like, the red... I forget what they call them in Star Realms, but the red, yes. Yes, very... Another similar deck builder, um, which we're fans of here. So, at this phase, I need to figure out what I want to get rid of. And from the middle amount of information I know about the card pool here... Um, you know, I, I really don't have any strategy. I mean, I, I really just need to learn a lot. Find Your Meeple says they also have Kapow. What's going on, Find Your Meeple? Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the game, um, there's different cards in here. The creatures are called champions. So this would be a creature card has attack and health values. You have event cards, which are kind of like your instance cards. Um, let me know if I need to turn this down a little bit more. The music's getting like, yeah, music. Uh, event cards are what you can play at almost any time. Um, instead of an instance. So... And they'll give you options like that. So an evil zombie event is kind of like an instance. So I can either play it for... I have to have the gold to play it, um, but I could draw two cards. Or when they say break a champion, break basically means you're 
you're destroying them, breaking the shield. Whenever a character breaks, it means that shield value has gone to zero. Um, so we've got this card called Wither, which is another event card, which is kind of like AoE damage. Um, it costs nothing, so I can play that as an instant, um, or like a spell, basically. Apocalypse, draw two cards of a turn, break all champions, big AoE kill. Uh, Demon Breach is another one-cost card, another event, lets me bring three demon tokens into play. I have noticed that this game uses a lot of tokens, um, so building the board seems like a big thing to do. And I've only ever won once against the AI, and it took forever, because <laughs> I played so poorly. Um, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know anything really about mulliganing, so I'm just gonna say no. Um, so it's my turn. It's the main phase. I can play a creature. I can play creatures out. I have one gold to use. I figure, let's get some dudes out, right? Let's get some bros out. Um, let's see. What happened to my zero cost card? This guy just does damage for zero cost, right? So, it, like I said, if you're a magic player, if this was your kind of game, do, do, I mean, I'm sure this has to be based on class and who we're, who you're against and that kind of thing. Um, should I build board? I mean, I assume I should be building board. So I want to play like this Tri-Horror, right? He's a big boy. I've got board control then and he has to deal with it. Now I will say I have I have found there are a lot of events or spell cards in this game that straight up just remove creatures. Like there's a lot of wipes in every in every group, good, the 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 forced people, all that stuff. It just wipes dudes out. So just because I played a 12 health dude does not mean he'll easily survive. There's just like wham, just break him, just done. There's a lot of that in this game. And then we're done. I'm going to pass to the opponent. Okay, it's the enemy turn main phase. Oh, I haven't played against these guys yet. So here's a mechanic in this game called loyalty. So when when a card has loyalty on it, and I'll show this here, loyalty has to do with their type. The fact that he played this Time Walker dude, it has a loyalty to effect, which means he has to reveal two cards to tr proc that effect, return all other champions to their owner's hands. So because he revealed two cards from his hand that are... I don't know what these people are. The the, the eye special ethereal people. Um, he can do the loyalty effect. Oh, sage. They're sages. They're sage or mages or something. So he returned my dude to my hand. So it's the enemy turn in phase. He hasn't spent his gold yet, which could be a thing. Man, this music, dude. Um, so I can react here. This is a point where I could play spells and all that good stuff. Here I could break a target champion, gets to put a zombie token into play, as it's the enemy turn in phase. Uh, do I have anything to counter this? It's not my turn, so I can't break all champions. I could draw cards. And by the way, at the beginning of my turn, that one gold I have right now is the gold I get for his turn. So if I don't use my gold right now, um, then I'm kind of just wasting this like mana, if you will. I'm wasting an opportunity. Um, I'm thinking of playing this Demon Breach to just get a dude out to defend. What does this thing do? Otherwise, he's just got a 10, 10 health creature out here. Since I can't break it, um, I'm going to spend my gold to throw out uh, two Demon Tokens. Because it's not my turn. And then I can always later on pay it. So let's do this. Two Demon Bros are out. I guess, I guess I just realized I could have just played... Oh, no, 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 no. That would have been stupid. I couldn't play a creature because it wasn't it. So there we go. My gold is refreshed, and I get to draw a card at the beginning of my turn. Uh, evil event. Deal nine damage to a target champion and gain nine health. Warlock hype! So straight up nine damage uh, for a buck. Okay, what else do we have to play here? Maybe drawing some cards is good. Um, since I can't straight up remove his champion, right? I could just play the zombie event card, break a target champion, or I could get a dude out. And that would add three more demons to play. Um, I wish I could remove this big 10-10 guy, so he can block with this next turn. Maybe I just get this dude out. Get my big boy out. 
Let's get Big Boy out. Okay. Big Boy's out. Now, I could fire off my Wither to do three damage to him up there, and then fire off my two Demon Hunter dudes for four, four attack each, which would wipe his dude, but I would lose my Demons, right? And I lose this card. I have found keeping cards in your hand for your loyalty triggers on other cards is really essential if you can't draw cards back up. Um, hmm. Maybe I just attack with one and see if he tries to defend it, right? Because then I'll get another chance here. So I'm going to attack with just this one dude. And this is where my weakest strategy happens. Pass so he has a chance during attack events to play stuff. So he played... He played Sage Construct Champion, which has Ambush, which Ambush means he can play it during an event phase. So if he has a phase where you could usually play events, if you have Ambush, he can play it during an opponent's turn as a dude, which is what Ambush does. Untargetable, I guess, means I can't target it. I cannot target it with a power or ability. Great. And if he breaks, he gets two cards. Well... Dang, so he just added someone to defend. So now it gives me an opportunity to sort of react to that. I guess because I can't target it, I can't use Wither on that now. I'd have to use Wither on this other thing. And then he gets to try to block me, huh? I guess I just do this. So he's going to block it with 10, dude. Now I get a chance to assign my damage... Or I could play this card here, but that won't kill him off. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to die, though, because just like in Magic, he's going to do damage back to me. Uh, I'm going to do four damage to him, but it's not going to matter. This, this, is, this is where I don't know... Where I'm just like bad mode. So he keeps his damage throughout his turn, or my turn, I should say, during my attack phase. So he'll keep that four damage um, on himself. So I could put him at 7 and force him to not use that dude and use this other dude, whereby he would break, but he gets to draw two cards. So maybe I'll do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be next level plays here. I'm going to send this dude, which will do three, 3 damage to him. Then I'm going to attack with this dude and say, come at me, bro. Oh, he just passed. Okay. <laughs> 4 damage. Get wrecked. Oh boy, he just played an event card of something. It's moving very quickly. Uh, uh, I guess to draw cards, he's, he's doing a bunch of stuff. What do these, what do these do? Blitz champions may attack and use, um, what is that? When you, when you, uh, not expel a card, but when you, uh, when you make a tire, a card tired. <laughs> Magic. When you tap. When you tap a card, you can, Blitz champions may attack and use tap powers while deploying. Okay, so when you put out creatures, you deploy them. And then you use them to attack or defend or tap, as you will. You can do two damage to me. Ally ability. This ability triggers when you play a gold card of the listed alignment. So this will ready it back up if he plays another sage card. Ah, uh, jeez, man. I, I think I'm going to get wrecked here. Got the untargetable dude who's over here. Another blitz. He can recycle. What does recycle do? To recycle, you may put two cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you do, draw a card. Banish a card. So banish in this game, it doesn't necessarily mean it goes to, like, out of the game. Like I was thinking in Keyforge or something like that. Banish literally just takes it from your discard pile and puts it on the bottom of your, of your deck so that you can't pull a lot of stuff out of your discard pile um, strategically, I've noticed. So banish will put it on the bottom of the deck. And it'll get shuffled if there's multiple. Okay. Um, hmm. So it's his in phase. I have an opportunity to use my gold on his turn. He's not attacking. Which is, was probably smart. Um, so next turn, I could just break all dudes. Which sucks because I would have my dude up here. I could take out one of my dudes here before my turn starts. I need to use this gold. I need to use my one gold to do something. This does nine damage and heals nine health. I'm thinking of... Uh, this guy's untargetable here. 
But I was thinking... Okay, this only has... This thing is so weak if I can get some AOA, AOE damage done. Is this guy a... I mean, this guy just messes with my pile. I can't target that guy. I mean, maybe I draw some cards with my free draw here. Or just blow up a dude of his. Hmm. I think this is where I need help from TCG players. It's like... if and, and when I played Magic Arena on stream, you guys were really helpful with me that... Like, I needed, to, I needed to stop fighting all the time. Sorry, I keep looking for, like, the music volume. I don't think I can access it in-game. Like, is card draw better than just going face? Like, attacking? Like, going for the board? Killing? I've always wanted to fight. And I, I was told that's, like, not... Not good. So because I have a break all champions, I'm going to do this and just draw cards. Drawing cards wins games. Okay, so it's my phase now. ESPN. Let's see what happens. Okay, what do we draw? I'm trying to see my cards. Draw two cards, break all champions, and each player puts a zombie token in play for each champion in their discard pile. Airborne is just like flying in Magic. Um, they can't be blocked uh, or anything like that unless they have another airborne champion uh, to stop them. Once again, the tribute. Uh, let's explain tribute. When a champion with tribute enters play, you gain the effect immediately. So it's like an immediate effect that happens. And then loyalty two, you show two cards. You reveal two cards to get the blitz ability. Banish target good champion. I'm assuming, I don't know if they're considered good or sages are good. I don't know if sages are good. No, there is no max battle line size, Bill. This guy, too, I get to put three zombies into play with him that I've now got in my hand. So how I was playing this, Bill, how I was playing evil was playing him very zooey. Like, I was just kind of filling it up with zombies and, and demons and stuff. Demon tokens and zombie tokens with dudes like this. Um, and then trying to sort of just break them down slowly with little dudes, right? Um, I'm thinking if I go Breakthrough, he's just going to throw out some stuff. Uh, so maybe I just attack right now and wait to spin my gold based on what he does. I don't know. This is where I get confused. Do something. Um, let's see. Don't just stand here. Like, I'm just going to attack. Let's see what he does. So he gets an attack event. So he gets a chance to play an event card, which is like an instance, before he wants to defend, I believe. Or I guess I get I get to do it before he does. Like, if he put out a defender or something... Okay, so he's going to play this ambush. He played this big dragon dude. Which does what? I can't see it over the tooltips. Um, he could have expended, meaning to exhaust, all my champions that I do if he wanted to show two cards, but he didn't do that. He just put it out to have a defender available. Um, so now this gives me a chance to react to his attack card. So I could blow up all champions <laughs> and just get a bunch of zombies out. Um, what else could I do? That thing he put out is huge, right? Oh, it's only eight. So I could blast that down with her right here, do nine damage to it. Or I could just destroy everybody. Oh, the art is amazing. Yeah, the art is very beautiful, Bill. The art looks really great. I'm glad it's showing well on the stream from an iPad. <laughs> Being streamed. Stream to a stream. Um, I'm thinking of actually doing this to react to that play of his. To deal nine damage here. So I drained that essence, killed him there. You can go over th uh, 30 health, as you see there. So I, I don't lose, like, some of my health. There's no max health, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to pass to his attack events phase, see what he does. He just takes the damage. He just took the 12 breakthrough damage. What? That's a crit. Um, I could attack with my demon, which will probably die to his sage mage 
champion, whatever. So I'm going to pass so that I don't exhaust him. I guess we're going to see what he does. See, I'm getting good, guys. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Spike Trap. Deal five to each attacking champion. What? But I'm not attacking. Why would he play that? Wait. Okay, so what he just did there is he... He exiled or whatever card from my discard pile to the bottom of my deck with this dude. Or banished, not exiled. What, I, I'm curious. Where do I see his discard pile? I've got all these tool tips going here. Oh, he cleared his discard pile. He shoveled his discard pile back into the deck based on what he did. So we did Time Walker, he played events. Took two damage from Frostmage's Apprentice. So he basically tapped his Apprentice and did two damage to me. Okay. And he doesn't want to do anything on attack events. So he's attacking with his 10 10 creature here. I have the opportunity to react to this. See, this is like a clear, and we'd get a ton of zombies. Yeah, he did. He exhausted my guy with an ability somehow. Um, I'm trying to find out. His disc, he shuffled his discard back into his deck. Oh, here it is. I can see what got banished. That's what he did. He did his, uh, I don't know if he did this loyalty ability. I mean, he, I thought he did this, but it's like he just played this and didn't do the damage. Banished when it's done to another person. Recycle when you do it to yourself, it looks like. I know when you... Uh, what up, Volps, by the way? When you when you banish multiple cards to either from either discard pile, uh, it will it will reshuffle the deck him into the deck. It won't just leave him at the ban bottom of the card. And uh, recycle, maybe put cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck in any order if you do draw a card. This is probably what he did. So he played this. He didn't do it for the attack value of five damage. He did it for the recycle ability on Spike Trap. So he recycled. He recycled the two cards from his discard pile and to draw a card. That's what he did. Okay. We're learning here. We're learning. Um, man, I kind of just want to clear the board. But I'm going to have to almost do that on my turn. I have no way to defend this 10 damage. Uh. Oh, but he has no discard pile, right? But I assume this happens at the same time. So if I break all his champions, he's going to get one, two, three, four, five zombie tokens. And I'm going to get two. But they'll be exhausted. And then on my turn, I guess these aren't considered champions. Oh, yeah, they are. And I believe zombies are considered champions as well. So I could play this on my turn to then clear all the zombies out. So I'm going to try this. Let's do this for science, guys. So I don't take 10 damage. Break all champions, each player with zombie token. Let's do it. Let's see how many we get. One. Oh, we got four. Oh, because that dude gave me three. Yes, woo! Three, no. I must have had at least one. But I don't think, I don't think these demon tokens, even though it says champion, counted. Because I didn't have any champions in my discard, yeah. And I mean, he went into my discard, so maybe it gave me one for the tri-horror that I killed. And then it gave me three because he broke. So I sacked him for three demon tokens. So I should have one zombie for the tri-horror, and then three, and then he got five for all the ones we counted earlier. Okay, so now we know the order of operations. It's kind of kind of key 4G. Destroyed effects happen in order. All right, attack events. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, man. Sorry, guys. I'm learning a lot. Like, I have I have to really, like, wrap my brain around these this type of order. Yeah, the demons are good because they're 4-4s four over 2-2s. Two That's a good point. And these are considered champions. But I, I don't believe when these die because they're a token, they go to your discard. Oh, it says right here, token champions are treated just like normal champions, except when a token would leave play, it's removed from the game. Okay, there we go. Answered our own question. Crit knows, guys. Crit knows in chat. Crit no. There we go. Um, tokens can't go to a hand, deck, or discard pile either. Uh, okay. 
We're learning. All right, so now we got four dudes. I could break all champions. Now, I know I know in this evil deck that's been pre-built for me that that somewhere in here there's a dude that's a vampire where if I can get a bunch of dudes together, um, any dudes I kill of his, he takes damage for. He takes two damage, and I heal for two damage. So there's kind of this big wipe combo that I can do um, in terms of just wiping all dudes. And this is cool, too. If I if I tap him, I can bring in a target champion from any discard pile under my control. So I could bring back my bro. And if he has Blitz, that means I can play him right away. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool. So I could bring... So I can throw him in, and because he has Blitz, I can then tap him immediately and bring back my Tri-Horror. <gasps> Are we doing that? I think that's the play. Otherwise, I can draw some cards with uh, my Demon Champion here. She also would get Blitz, and I could t uh, banish a target. Good Champion. I still don't know if Sages are considered good. I could take his bros too. How am I going to take his bros? You're saying with with my bros? Take my bros with his bros? Take his bros with my bros is what you're saying? Because <laughs> I only have one gold. I can't just break all champions. Grab the 1010 guy other, the other side had. Oh, is it in his discard still? What? Where's his discard? Oh, it's buried here. Where's the 1010 guy? No, 1010 guy's gone. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong stat. Oh, right there, right there, right there. That's pretty cool. I can't top the loyalty thing. It's just a 1010 dude. And that's good holding his stuff. Yeah, man. Or there's this giant champion, too, this 812. The Blitz will trigger for me, too. He would be available. Oh, that's cool, too. I could draw cards. Man, there's some good cards I could steal from him. It's either I take my own dude out or I steal his assets, right? Maybe stealing his assets is more beneficial. Would you guys take the 10-10 or would you take the 8-12? Yeah, my, my try my try horror is in the discard. Yeah, my try I can take from either discard. Take a target champ from any discard. By the way, this game... RL is four player. You can do this four player. Yeah, the untargetable. See, there's so many. I have three choices. I can take my tri horror, which will give me three demons. He's a 12-12. I can take I can take his dudes. I can take this time walker, which is 10-10. Or I can take this champion, who's an 8-12. And could be used almost immediately. You have trouble dealing with zombies on board. The untargetable thing. And plus I'll get two cards. Well, untargetable, he can still defend it, right? Yeah. He could still defend it and kill it off because it's pretty weak. It's only four health. So if he uses two zombies, which are basically two twos, he could kill that with, with two zombie blocks. He would just die if I try to attack with it. It's untargetable, but it really doesn't do anything for me. Besides get me some cards because he'd want to defend it. He'd have to kill off two zombies... And for me to get two cards. I kind of like this 812. Because Blitz will allow me to use him immediately. And he would he would have to sack all his dudes or take 8 damage. And he already has 13. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this bro out. Throw my bro out. Throw my bro out. Two cards to reveal so I can use his Blitz ability. Whatever. Apocalypse and the Sage Girl. Victory is at hand. Once again, guys, let me know if uh, the game audio is too loud or something. I'm still trying to find like a good spot for it. It goes, it's like the music is like, ah, ah, and then you can't hear the little dudes. Um, let's do this. So put target champion from any discard pile. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this bro. Done. Boom. He's, so here's the, here's the only thing with the extent of your battle line, Bill, at least in the mobile app. This is only on mobile. I haven't seen it on Steam yet is that you can only show, like, I think, five cards. <laughs> and you have to use these little arrows on the right and left, especially on, on my iPhone. Uh, they stack, so they're not on top of each other. They're literally just your battle line gets too long. You have to scroll through your battle line, <laughs> which is kind of tough, tough to figure out. Um, oh, I can do this. So I get to use... Oh, because it's a tribute ability, I can expend all champions he controls. What? 
Oh, he doesn't control any champions? These are considered champions, are they not? Oh, he doesn't control any... Oh, so zombies are... They have... It says champion in their name, but they're not actually champions. Oh, man. That would have been awesome. Never good enough to get a battle line that good. <laughs> what are you saying, man? That I'm amazing? <laughs> so these aren't considered actual champions to be exhausted. Dang. That would have been nice. One, two, three, four, five. So he still won't be able to kill me. So whatever. If he wants to try to block me, then I'm done. I can't. I can't. Expend all champions target player controls. Done. Oh, expend all champions target player. Oh, okay. They are considered champions. I was doing the wrong thing. There we go. You have to select the player. Okay, not the cards no. themselves. Okay, sweet. So now we can block, and the only thing he'll... Or attack, and the only thing he'll do is try to blow me up with cards from his hand. So we don't know if he has... Can I look at it? Like, so this is where revealing and knowing what he has in his hand is huge because he could play some event cards that kill me off. Um, I think I just attack with this dude or do I poke him with a little dude to see what he does? And he's exhausted, so he's going to have to play a card from hand. I think I just go at him, dude. I think I just take this out. All out attack? You think just throw everyone in? See, I don't like doing this because if he if he play okay, so let me explain why I don't like doing this or what I've learned by doing that. <laughs> what I've learned by doing that is, and this may be related to magic, is that when I do this, there's creatures. Uh, do I have one? Um, no, I think we showed them earlier that have ambush in the name. I don't have one here yet. Um, creatures that have ambush in the name can be brought out during his attack actions phase. So once I attack. There's an attack actions phase that he gets an, a, a chance to play an ambush creature that he can then use to defend. So if he has like a 12-12 or something with ambush, like I don't know his deck, but if he has a 12-12 with ambush, he's going to be able to lay him out and defend all that attack damage. So I found in this game, if I throw out like, if I throw out just like one demon, if he wants, if he's scared of that four attack, like he's going to have to use burn a card on it or burn an ambush card, which will then exhaust or take damage, and then I can kind of counter. It kind of goes back and forth. Like right here, trans each champion into a wolf token. What? Wow, that was a big like. He chose one. So no matter what I'd done, I turned into wolves, dude. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> now we just have a bunch of freaking wolves, man. What is this guy? This has ambush. Tribute. Target opponent discards a card, and you draw a card. So I guess I discarded a card. Oh, right. oh, I have to discard a card. Okay, what else did he do? Oh my gosh. Did he do it twice? No, it's just a wolf. It's just a wolf. When this card damages a player, that player discards a card. Oh my gosh, we're playing shadows, guys. Or no, we're playing Deese. He just played Deese. Except Wolf Deese. He just played Wolf Deese. Okay. Is this is this how this is going to go down? Oh, no. I'm not going to discard this. Because this card... I want to see it. Can I just see it? So I know I want to... Okay. No. I'm going to need to use this to kill off all wolves. <laughs> right? I think I discard... Who do we discard? Do we discard our necromancer or her? Of course, this card has to be done on our turn to break all champions. And we're going to need dudes because all we have are freaking wolves because apparently that's a card in this game. I mean, this right here comes in with three Zamblies. I could have, multi I could have so many dudes out on the board. So let's... Uh I think I'm gonna keep the succubus. I think I want to keep all these technically, so I can fire off my loyalty two ability. But uh, so maybe I'll need to keep this to draw or break all champions. And I think I'm tossing this dude, even though he'd give me a million dudes. I think she's gonna be good for. Oh, but 
he at least draws me a card. I think I'm going to toss him. Oh, this is a hard choice. I think it's going to be this bro. I think it's our bro. Necromancer's got to go. That was savage, man. Okay, this is the enemy turn in phase before I start my turn. I think uh, next game we're going to be turning down the audio and in-game the <laughs> music. <laughs> um, I can draw two cards right now with this gold, which I think is what's got to happen. We're not going to break all champions. Okay. Now, I do have an ambush here for free. And he's unbreakable on my turn, which this card is sick for when you wipe the board. He does not die. He only has two health, but if I throw him out, he's just... Um, I, I, no, I need to keep him in hand so that I can use this loyalty ability. All right. Okay, he ended his turn. Now we're chill again. Oh, here's this card. One of my favorite cards so far I've discovered in the middle amount of time played this game. Evil Vampire Airborne, Unbreakable, so he's flying. Unbreakable on my turn. When another champion is broken, if this card is in play, I gain two health and each opponent loses two health. What? So if there's a bunch of dudes out and it's my turn and I play that combo with that other card that just wipes everyone, including a million wolves that I have, I'll just heal, 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 and he'll die, 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 die. It's just like in-game. Yeah, too bad I just threw away that other card to get this card by drawing because this was like, I think, the third card down. Um, We also have Angel of Death now who's flying loyalty to break all other champions. So he comes in and just wipes the board. Um, he does not have like he's not aggressive though so i could throw out my dark knight who has blitz the dark knight or i could go with my turn here i think oh man i want to do some wiping oh this this drinker of blood if i can get him to survive over my angel with my angel of death coming in yeah, but they're all... So here's the problem in this game. I only have one gold on my turn. So I, they're both one cost. I do have a card in this deck that allows me to pull back a dude from my discard into the battle line, which I think we saw earlier. So if I was able to tap him, bring my drinker of blood, and then play my angel of death for one coin, for one gold, nuts play. Um, plus this guy doesn't kill this guy. So I want to get my Dark Knight out because he's unbreakable on my turn and he's free. So let's get him out. Uh, the question is, do I get my Drinker of Blood out and hope he doesn't just ping it off with a break card? Because in here, like I said, there's instances in here that just blow you up. They're just bomb cards. They just kill you dead. They just kill you freaking dead. And every time this guy's out, the computer's pretty smart, even in beginner mode, to, to deal with him. Versus put her out. Draw a card. Airborne, six damage, airborne, can't be defended. That would half his health. I think we go for the drinker, but let's go for the drinker of blood combo. Let's see if we can get this to work. How come he comes in... Oh, he doesn't. He's st he's exhausted. Okay. Zzz, exhausted. He's so tired. He's so tired. We may be able to win right here, actually, uh, by just attacking with our Dark Knight. Let's see what he does. He's unbreakable on my turn. So let's see. Let's ping him off and see if he just turns us all into wolves again. I wish these cards would slow down a little bit. <laughs> what was that? Did he just play? Each player chooses a champion. They control, break all other champions. Or draw two cards. Did he just take the damage? I think he just took the damage. So what... Did he just draw two cards? Is that what he did? Yes. He just drew two cards. I did damage. And now I'm exhausted. Gotcha. Uh, maybe I can just kill him. I'm just going to keep trying to ping him here. Let's go wolf v wolf. Let's go. Yeah, the drinker can't die. I think he knows that. I think he, he yeah, he won't defend because then I'll die and he'll just die anyway, right? 
Let's get YOLO. I think we've won, but let's see what happens. Hey, we won! We did it! Woo! Yes! <laughs> Dude, drinker of blood OP! Mission accomplished, guys. We won the beginner's evil deck mode. <laughs> Drinker Zoo, exactly. Zoo Lock. You, you, you go learn a TCG, you play Zoo Lock. Exactly. That's that's what we've learned, guys. That's what we've learned. <coughs> Alright, let's bonus. Let's get a bonus all. Some crits here. Bonus all 15 crits for the win. 15 crits for our first win in uh epic card game here. Oh, there we go. Victory. We have won. Alright. So. Limited? You can play with a deck with 30 random cards or draft a deck of 30 cards that we don't even know what we have. Um, we could do constructed mode as well. Um, so that's the evil. That's evil. Now, I guess, can you change this from beginner mode? Or how do you get to more advanced? Or should we go campaign? Where, where, what's our next stop? And probably not online. Right? Because people are probably rocking and rolling on this thing. Because there is an online mode. It is currently active. Um, I would just have to start a game up and then get crushed. <laughs> but maybe we should check out some more of the other cards, right? Campaign would be cool. Let's check the campaign out. Good call. Sync complete. Sync complete. We've synced. Tutorial campaign. Do I have to do the tutorial campaign? Okay, First, let's do this. The flame eat up their surrounding. Prepare for a fiery onslaught. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing to come back is your sense of smell. Ash and burning fill your nose. It isn't a gentle awakening. The next thing to come back is your hearing. You hear the screams of mortals running for their lives. At last, your eyes open and search your surroundings. Dark specks float down from the sky. Your reformed body trembles, not from fear, but from excitement. You have the feeling that part of yourself is hiding in that fire. Some sort of power is calling to you. You look up at the top of the village, and you spot the figure that stands proudly, watching the horrific carnage unfold. Her hands are extended with her talon-like nails facing out as she controls the fire elements beneath her. The bursts of flames blaze through the town, eating up their surroundings like a pack of hungry wolves. Her cackle echoes through the village as she strikes lightning onto the ground. Her amber-colored eyes lock with yours. Her lips form into a wicked grin, and she raises her arms as you prepare for the worst. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know there was text there, guys, for anything, anyone just not able to hear that, but, uh... I don't know how they got Morgan Freeman, dude. That is, that is a get. <laughs> Good call. That's a get right there. I think as they call it in the in the biz. Well, dang. Um, story. Let's go. Uh, what's up, Zession? Zession says, yay, made it. Um, tried the campaign last night. Can't get past the second mission. Well, we just beat AI for the first time, so we're jumping right in, man. Let's go begin mission. Do I get to choose who I am? It's just a... Oh, it's a, it's a bunch of cards. Choose any number card. Okay, so here's our mulligan phase. So we have to learn. Oh, we're against monkey guy. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have in here. So some of these we'll know from the evil deck, and otherwise, I don't know. Break all champions. Uh, we've gotten bitten before. Break target champion, put a zombie into play, draw some cards. Mythic monster. Draw a card. Just a big dude. 13, 15. Woo! -hoo. Uh, evil demon champion ambush tribute. Banish target player's discard pile. Day. Vanishing. So this is the Sage class. If it is your turn, return target champion to its owner's hand. Or draw two cards. It's help from future self. We just found help from future self. So it's free. 
to return a target champion, or you can draw two cards for a buck. Okay. Oh, and that's it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we want to mulligan. Probably mulligan the free one, right? Because we don't really need that right now. And apocalypse. I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan these two. And because we're next level, let's see what let's see what else we get as starters. Uh, untargetable. Here's this untargetable. Eleven fourteen untargetable. Keep the free one, said Zeshin. Dang. You gotta be quicker, man. I missed that. Untargetable. Tribute. Return target champion to its owner's hand. Pretty sick. So just take the board. This is a good... This is good if you go second. Palace Guard. Tribute. You may banish target champion. It's pretty awesome. What are these guys called? These guys are just good humans. Oh, they're good. So this is the good. So you've got good, you've got evil, you've got sage... You've got jungle or something? What is it? Wild. I think it is wild. So the forest is on fire and we need to do something to stop this. Um, but, I, I, you know, I think we're going to start with this, bro. Let's get a mythic monster out, man. Oh, what? What am I playing here? Oh, I didn't hit play. Let's spend our buck for a mythic monster. Done. And then next turn, I'm going to play Seed Titan. Deal 13 damage? Haha, <laughs> not strong enough. Does he just play monkey cards? Is this gonna be one of those, uh, is this gonna be one of those campaign games uh, where the opponent's deck is literally like 30 Kong cards? That would be Hearthstone. Hearthstone would do that. Hearthstone would say like, <laughs> beat this. I have 30 Kong cards in this deck. Build a deck. He's just monkeying around. Good call, Bill. Bill. All right, dude, that was weak. That was weak. Um, I can't play my Titan. I don't have um, Ambush anyway with that. We do have Ambush with our Grave Demon. It doesn't really help us other than as a blocker if he does anything. I could just turn that into a Zombly. I could just Zombly that thing, which might be a good idea. Give him a little Zombie. Otherwise, can he kill me if he blocks with that? He can't kill me if he blocks with that. I can do... 13 damage to him next turn? I think I'm gonna do this. Let's give him a zombie. That would just be bananas. You guys. Let's blow you up, dude. Kong. Get wrecked. Have a zombie. Okay. What are you gonna do now? My turn. You wanna block with your zombie? I guess his zombie can block me completely, but... So, I believe if I return target champion to his hand because that's a token it'll just get removed because uh, as we read earlier tokens cannot go to your hand what do these guys do you may banish a target champion or tribute this, this guy would remove it too I don't have anyone free um, so the sea titan I think is a good play here or we get our evil champion in and we just banish that monkey to to the basement. All right, let's go see Titan. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it just leaves the game. I think I think that was a next level play, man. And let's fight. Now that we got a fourteen eleven here, attack. Dang. Deal nine damage to each champion. Boom! Take it, take it. That was a crit. He needs to draw a card. Thirteen fifteen. That was the thing we played earlier, right? Yeah, Mythic Monster. That's all he did. Enemy in phase. Do I want to spend my free gold? Um, probably, right? I have a free gold. I might as well get a dude out and keep the ball rolling here. Let's get out our uh, Grave Demon. Um, let's banish... Let's banish his Kong to the bottom of the deck, right? Can I do that? What? Banish targets... Oh, the entire discard pile. Oh, I have to select the creature. Right, right. We learned this earlier. Get banished on. Okay, he's going to go. Ends his turn. Dude, guys, we're next level. I think we're going to have to go online next. So he can block with that unless I throw something out. If I throw out this human champion... What? What did this do on tribute? He drew a card. I don't want to put it back in his hand. Oh, look at this. It's a... Uh, what, what's the Logos card where you do three, three, four, five, or three, two, one? 
This is uh, just three, four, five. We got the we got the logos card. Send his send on his turn when possible. Wasted otherwise. You only have one gold, right? Because it gets refreshed at the start of your turn. Correct. Um, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna banish this. So that goes to the bottom of his deck. You lock Um, I mean, we could if unless he like just like murders us. I'm kind of just gonna attack one at a time here and see how he reacts. Okay, he's gonna blow. Okay, so now we have nine damage across the board. That seems to have a lot of those cards. That guy is a jerk. Well, if you can't block my Sea Titan. Nope. I think we got him, guys. Boom! He's just gonna. Yes, you're right. You could, with that card, he could have just targeted, because it's it's just a target straight up. You're right, Bill. But we got it, guys. Crits in chat. Crits in chat. Oh. Crits in chat. We got through level one. Bonus all 10 crits right there. That's a ticket. That's a ticket for some Mystic Veil vale on Monday. Mystic Veil vale Digital. Yo, yo, yo. Make sure you join us. It's going to be a good time. We have one. We have one. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to click on the screen. We got a chest. Stop the music. Flame strike. Okay, I thought we unlocked all cards though, unless this is like a foil or something. It doesn't look like a foil. Deal eight damage to a target with flame strike. How much is Mystic Veil vale Digital? I, I'd have to look on Steam. Um, because we were talking to Nomad. Uh, Nomad's based out of the UK. Our information for what the cost is currently on Mystic Veil. Vale, Plus all expansion. I only have it in pounds. <laughs> and I can't, I don't know what the conversion is from pounds to English right in front of me. If you look on Steam, though, it's... Oh, shoot. As I break my wife's iPad. <laughs> Dang it. Hold on. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh, look. I got, a, I got a frames per second counter on the bottom now, suddenly. Because I did that. Can I make that go away? Whoop. Okay. You well, we got a card. barely believe. That the delicate amber soul gem you hold in your palm was just ripped out of the pyromancer's mind. It glows as the amber lines trickle from your hand into your bloodstream. As the essence creeps up the rest of your body and into your mind, the feeling of clarity is absorbed That's inside your brain. Suddenly, you remember the past feeling of power flowing through your veins. You remember living in a luxurious palace, voices congratulating you, everyone raising their golden chalice in your name. Then, the memory floats away like a leaf down a roaring rapid. You try to dive in and look for more memories, yeah. but your mind is left blank. <laughs> I remember feeling powerful. This feels like every day when we do something good happens to us and we get lucky on Crit Camp. And then we lose. No spoilers for Monday's stream for Zombicide if you haven't watched it yet. But this applies very uh, nicely to that. <laughs> very nicely to that. So there we go. Let's, uh, let's move on with our story. So Zeshin said couldn't beat this mission. Now it's really loud. You now it's got a presence between the trees. In a small clearing, a pack of wolves stand facing you. The path beyond the burned down village leads you to a lush forest. You feel a sensation. It's as if your body is being pulled towards danger. You know part of you is hiding inside the forest. You just need to figure out where it is. You can already feel wild eyes staring at you as you step inside the mysterious habitat. You hear a giggle, similar to a child's coming from outside the forest. As you continue wandering through the forest, a tree branch snaps near you. You spot a presence between the trees. You yell, and the girl shrieks before running farther away. You start to run after her, hoping she can help you find your way around. 
You come to a small clearing in the woods where a pack of wolves stands facing you. Oh no, wolves again. Their heads tilt as they watch you, almost as if they are tame. You see that the girl is covered in plant life. It's as if the plants are growing from her body. You realize she isn't just a girl. She is a dryad. As you stare at her in realization, her arms extend towards you, and she lets out a scream that echoes through the forest. The wolves suddenly pounce. Their jaws open wide, gnashing their teeth towards you. Oh my God. The dryad's glowing green eyes stare at you. She has part of you inside of her, and she isn't going to give it up easily. Damn. Talk about talking to the <laughs> running into the wrong, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, hey, girl, what's going on? Ah, wolf dogs, you're taking my soul. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, jeez, almost broke this iPad again. There's too much stuff on my desk. Um, you think you've been on that? I, I know. It's like a Friday. It's It was like college for me. Like, hey, you look friendly. Ah, dogs. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's see if we can get to know this dryad without her dog eating us alive. I have a, oh my gosh. I have a weird feeling uh, that we're gonna be turned into wolves again. A thousand wolves. All right, so Zession was recommending last time that we keep, uh, so this is the one Zession can, that we keep the free cards. You crazy, crazy dog lady. Get your dogs off me. Why are you made of, why are you made of trees? <laughs> That's got a, you should get that looked at, man. That's that, that looks like an infection. <laughs> that, that, uh, you get, uh. Um. All right. So we got some new stuff here. These are the good type people. Uh, Banished target champion. The player whose turn it is draws a card. Card. That's an event, right? Yeah. Good event. Evil event. Deal three to a target champion. Gain three health. Yum. That's a cool card. Consume. So we got we got consume. So we got some defensive stuff here. Tribute you may banish target champion. These dudes are awesome. We like our grave demon. That's cool. Banish cards some more. A standard bear. Two arms, as they would say in Hearthstone. Tribute. Put two human tokens into play. Your other good champions have... Oh. We can buff up our humans. Humans. All right. So what, what don't we want here? This is for healing. I kind of want to get rid of this for now. Um, Like, I know you, you think we should keep our free cards... But I kind of just want to get uh, bigger dudes, potentially. So I feel like getting rid of these is okay for now. Since we could probably redraw up into our consume when we're actually, like, hurting. So I take two damage because I'm cycling those. And let's see what else we get. Oh, we got Groot, man. I am Groot. A 9-6, straight up, Force Giant Groot. Oh, we have Kong now. I'm, I am Kong now. Um, all right, who's, I think we, I, I think we start with our, uh, Grave Demon, even though we don't ban, we're not gonna get any tribute value. Because, uh, or we just start with Groot, who's free. Groot. I am Groot. And then, um, I think we get to do two dudes here. Dude, Groot's free? Um, here, you don't have anything in your discard pile. Oh, I guess they might. No, they, no, they won't. We're getting in the game. All right, her turn. We gotta fight off this crazy tree lady. Right. Oh my gosh, she, ah, oh, three damage to me. Oh, oh, she did right to my face. What's wrong with her, man? Yeah, zero nine six seems good. Guys, they love their, they love their symbols in this game. All right. This is getting intense. Can't think. You're just smashing my head. Oh, okay, so we got a seven four. I didn't like her very much. The other champions. Okay, we need to get rid of this forest dweller, and I think we're doing it with this bro. Oh, we just get to put two tokens into play. Hmm. So we can't we can't straight up attack, but let's get dudes on the board and keep cards in our hand because we've got another one of these. He can't attack us yet. Okay. Well, she can't attack us yet. My gosh, when it's the enemy's turn, man, the music is intense. 
I forgot to turn down just the music in the app. Because <laughs> you can't do it in game. Okay, I'm gonna turn off these little this little light bulb up here, because I think I think we're getting the base basis of the, the phases, which was my weak point at the beginning. Um okay, we've got Kong. So we can remove a dude. We could play um we could play logos and do f three, four, five. But that wouldn't clear the board. Or we can just banish the target champion um, with our palace guard. So I think if we banish banish his minotaur, bro. If we get rid of this minotaur. What's it give one? To, uh, wild champions. I assume this is a wild elf. Yeah. So we, then we can rock her, right? Because the wild elf... Is that with the buff? Is it a 7-4 with the buff? Or is it a base 7-4 but it's actually a 9-6? Three to health, then four and five. I think it goes down the line if there's three. Deal three damage to first, four damage to the second, and five damage to the third. I think you have to have three separate targets, just like in Heart and Key in Keyforge. Like I would have to do five damage to one of my guys. Unless I deal three to one of my dudes and then four five. Oh, I could do that. I could injure myself. That's not that's not a bad idea. And clear the board. And then force him to do some stuff. That's true. Oh, I can target the main... Oh, choose three targets. Oh, good call, Bill. Pray Bill. No. Bill, like we said yes uh, on Monday, you've got a lot of knowledge. You've got a lot of knowledge, sir. Let's do that. I like I like the way you think. You're a thinky guy. I would have liked to draw cards, though. Let's go three, four, five. Rain of fire, dude. Apply. Kaplow! You hit me in the face? Blam! <laughs> That's a crit. That's a crit right there. That wipes the board. All right, now let's uh, let's see what he what she's got in her pocket in terms of uh, attacking us. Um, I say we poke the bear with our humans. Oh, we don't have our human buffer out, right? Oh, that's no, this guy, isn't it? The other good champions have two uh, two attacks, so these guys actually are attacking for five. So let's see what happens with one dude. <coughs> Okay, so he just blew me up. He didn't kill my guy attacking, but he took away my proc. So when it shows the card stats, those card stats are actually um, going fast off your buff, because now I'm back to being 1-1s. One I think originally with that buff, I was a 3-1, and it was showing the cards as 3-1. So when you look at the card, it's showing it with its its stat buff. So that girl up there actually was... I mean, maybe, I, maybe you guys figured that out, and I'm just slow, which is truth. All right, so I'm going to keep attacking here then. What else you got in your hand? Nothing. Oh, and I think she spent her gold to play that card, right? Because she played the Savage Uprising. Yeah. Oh, deal nine to each champion that costs a buck. So they spent their gold, so she can't... Unless she has free, free attacks. We can just keep bashing her down. Oh, Minotaur's back. Oh, that's not going to help you, man. That's not going to help you, because I got... I got Palace Guard. I also have Kong. Oh, and we got Grave Demon back again to, to mess with his discard. Um, let's go. Let's go Palace Guard. Right? And just banish, banish the Minotaur boy. And then we'll poke him. Because I think we want to save Kong for later. I mean, Kong gets us to the end game, but I'm afraid he's, she's going to have some crazy big dudes, right? So let's not let's not overplay our hand. Shields up. All right, let's poke the bear. What you gonna do? He's gonna put wolves into play. There's those freaking dogs, man. <laughs> she whipped her dogs out. Is that her? Yeah, it's her. She played herself. She played her freaking self. So the dogs do three, three. So that dog's done defending. I don't think she can use this wolf again. And what does this thing do? Your wolf tokens have one and one. Okay, so they're buffed up to three threes. So if I play out my Groot, I think she can use this wolf to defend again, even though it was flipped around to defend. I don't know if it's exhausted. But if I attack with Groot, she can't defend at all. She'll, she'll have to die, right? 
Or they, they'll have to die. Oh, she just killed off one wolf, right? Well, we removed one wolf. We'll keep our human around as defense against this wolf she's probably going to throw at us, right? We do have our demon for ambush. Oh my gosh! Three to my face! She played herself again. So I could play this dude for free. And I could banish her discard pile. Well, not free, but on my defense. I think we gotta do it. Let's do it. Okay, so who's gotta die? I think she needs to die. What is this guy doing? Your wild champions have 2-2? Two, two? Her board is getting huge. Oh, we have a straight 8 damage on target. Yeah, these guys are getting buff. So this thing just does 3 damage. It's not doing anything, but it's because of this Minotaur giving him 2-2. Two, two, and this Wolf Collar giving him 1-1. One, one. So they're getting a buff of 3-3. Three, three. I think wiping the Minotaur... We need dudes that do more stuff. So I could blast... I mean, getting a big dude out is probably the best play here. Getting Kong out and wiping... Um, and wiping this Minotaur is probably our best bet. Versus just doing a straight shot. I want to have a body on the board, probably. Wait, can I attack her with 13? No. <laughs> Done. Has to be a target champion. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Now we just fight. Who do we not who do we not care about living here? Um Okay, so he's got a total of 8 12 damage. Plus we don't know what he's going to poke us with. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep my human as just like a, a meat shield. And I think I need to just throw big dudes in and watch him get wrecked, right? Um so let's start the 6 8 should be able to do do some work. And cycling him out's good. Ambush target champions get a billion. Dude, what? Target champion gains 6-6 six, six this turn. Oh my gosh, man. These wild guys are insane. So he just gave his wolf 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, wolf's almost dead. Do I kill off? He's going to put wolf in front of my... My grave demon, I assume. Oh, it's only for this turn, though. Ugh, do we just hold on? Because we're going to be able to flame strike when he comes at us with someone. I think we hold off. So this is the point where, when it comes to, like, Magic the Gathering, where I'm, like, real bad mode, um, I don't know if I keep attacking. If it, As maybe Magic players or something, do you guys... Do you guys keep attacking at this point, or do you hold off to go defensive? Knowing that I only have, like, eight direct damage at the moment. I'll be able to play this if he attacks me in, in the uh, attack phase. Would you keep trying to pound him down and just kind of blow off his dudes? Or do I... Not knowing what we have in the deck. I mean, I don't know if we have any, like, break all champions in this deck. Uh, like the evil deck did. What would what would be your recommendation in the TCG environment? What what do you do? Cuz I'm going to die. Like if I put in the demon champion or I put in the my Groot, if the wolf can defend again, giant's going to die. And then I could go in again and maybe wipe one of his other dudes. I mean, if he if he blocks with this ranger, it's going to I'm just going to trade one for one. And then he's going to be left standing with this champion or this caller or something. No recommendations? Everyone's kind of like, ah. <laughs> do I do it? I think I do. Yeah, I don't know if you can block multiple times with the same guy. I don't know if it's exhausted. I want to say that you actually can because they're not dead yet. Because it survived the fight, and the reason it has six damage on it, like, it can take another three before it breaks. 
So more than likely, he's going to block with... Uh, he'll block with the wolf. So I'd be trading my big dudes, which I guess I'll do. And then force him to make a decision. So I'm going to do this for science. Well, either he didn't choose to use it or can't use it. Let's see what happens here. She just took the damage. This is why it's a tutorial companion try stuff to learn. Good call, Volps. And there right now just kind of showed us that he's just going to take the damage. All right, I'm done. I'm going to leave my human as a meat shield. Draw a card. And he's... Dude, the wild guys just are huge. Okay, so I have a chance to use this for free and just remove this. And all his wild champions now ambushed. The wild art is really cool. Super untamed. Look at this jungle queen. This is a cool card. Buffs and it gives all the dudes ambush so they can be played at any point. That's nuts. She needs to die. That's nuts. You need to die. Get wrecked. Oh, I could have just used that to kill her, right? Did I just throw away my win condition? I could have just won the game. I could have just won the game. Oh, bad plays. Bill, where were you on that card, man? Where were you on that card? I needed you. I needed you, man. I needed you. We had the win. We had the win. No. Oh! I know the game better than you. No, you told me that. You told me that. You're Bill. You're the... The Mile High Brain Guy. Mile High Brain Guy. That's what your, that's your new name. Mile High Brain Guy. All right, man. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to play this bad boy out. Draw a card. Winning card. Great. We can deal three health. We can wipe a... Oh, we can wipe a wolfie. Let's do that for free. I think this is the way we do this. Let's wipe some wolves. It has to. This one has to be a target champion. I believe you cannot target the hero. If they're considered hero. Okay, finally killed off that freaking wolf. I thought that before I got that. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, Positron Bolt. That's what it is. I only knew that Positron Bolt card because I used it in my campaign first mission. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right, but I think we got her here because she can't really... We can attack with two huge dudes and... Let's see what she's got in her hand. Of course. She's got a ranger guy. Whoa, of course, buffs up her dudes to max. Dude, we could have won. Okay, so I believe you can't block twice after a guy's been used to block. I think they exhaust. So this will wipe her dude there. And then we're gonna pass. Oh, we're, we're, we got no cards. I just need to get another direct damage, eight damage card. Ugh. Is it gonna punch me in the face? Gah! <laughs> Okay, she didn't hit my 1-1. One, one. Well, this dude's free. We're going to bring him out. I'm just going to keep attacking you, ma'am. All right, see how you deal with a 13-15. Pass? She's just going to take the... Oh. Well, we got rid of one card. Let's try this again. Oh, here comes some more woofs. Ow, ow. Oh, these dogs, man. If we lose, you can't double block with same dude. Oh my gosh, another jungle queen. They're all huge now. Take the damage, human. If we lose, I'm going to be sad because we had this. We had this win. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, one time. Eight damage card. Dang it. Oh my gosh. We are in trouble. Because I can't block. I'm going to have to, like, hold off and use these guys to block all this damage. But I can't double block, as Zeshin said. I think we're dead. I think we lose because of the misplay. I have no free champions that will really do anything for me. What's she doing? Oh, they're all exhausted up there. I think we can win. Okay, unless she has some crazy card, she's dead. Did we win? Oh, she's gonna make her wolf like a thousand times. No. Oh! 
Oh, 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 come on, man. She has like 7,000 woofs. All oh, those cards are stupid. Die. Don't block it. Don't block it. We're dead. I'm going to take this damage. I'm going to take this damage and assume she's going to pass her turn. I'm going to take that damage and assume she's going to pass her turn. That is messed up. No! You spot a presence? Okay, we know the story. We need to turn down the music in this game. Music's good. Music's insanely loud. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that screen looks familiar, says Eshin. I had the win, though! Oh. Okay. That. Is this still the tutorial campaign? Okay, we're on mission two. You spot a presence? Yeah, we know the mission. We need to kill crazy tree lady with the dogs. Crazy dog lady. Whoa! Okay, now our, now our levels are all over the place. Okay. <sighs> That's That feels bad, man. That feels bad, man. We learned a lot in that game. We learned... What did we learn today, guys? That when you have the win condition, just win the game. Just win the freaking game. Just win the game. You know? I think we were being... I, I think maybe it was in the back of my mind that I had to be the BM. Oh, we got two big... We got two dudes to start this one. Oh, you're going down this time. Oh, there's our card. There's our win condition, guys. There's the win condition right here. Here's the win condition. Flame Strike. I think that's the same name from Hearthstone. When you can damage the main health pool, do it. Especially in this game, when you have a free coin on their turn, if you don't do anything to react to them, it's free damage, right? Especially at 30 health, 8 damage lock. She mulliganed three cards. I'm keeping all my cards. No, I'm not spending my gold. I'm doing this. Groots are coming out, man. She can try to attack my Groots all day. Um... And then we're going to play out our Mythic Monster, draw a card. Free card! Courageous Soul. Ambush, when this card attacks, your champions get plus two attack this turn. Charge! Oh, we're mad now. Look at this start. Look at this starting hand. What up? What up? Play play one dude. Oh, look who it is. She's bringing her wolves. Oh, God. Oh, no. She's going to hit me in the face, isn't she? Right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. These sound effects are, like, all over the place. Right between the eyes. We just got wrecked. Um, this might be a good time to just blast this thing down so these woofs aren't 3-3s. Three I know what we're saying, that we want to keep this card for straight face damage. But I kind of just want to... Uh, just pick off this girl. You know what I mean? I, I don't know how many of these cards we have in this deck. But I'm thinking we take out... Um, I'm thinking we take out the wolf caller. Don't do it, says Bill. Don't do it. All right, don't do it. But I have a free, I have, free, okay. Let's go with the other strat. Let's go with the other strat where I just do it to her face. I just shoot, shoot, go for the face. Face hunter, right? Done. <coughs> just burn. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, we could just keep burning her down. Those wolves can't take out your guys anyways. Yeah, I mean, but they can they can protect her from getting punched. But it's a good point. I can't I can't attack her directly because one wolf can just uh, tank the damage. Unless I get that uh, breakthrough. I could just throw this at her. You know, just throw just throw it out there. Oh no, it has to be target champion, huh? I'm thinking about taking out a wolf. I'm thinking about taking out one wolf. 
And then she's down to three dudes. And nothing can be done there. Plus I'm gonna... Oh no, now plus I'm gonna use my Kong. I mean, I'm, I'm breaking the bank here on cards. But I used the Kong to deal 13 damage to a target champion. It can't be anything else. I do that here. I mean, that's a big, that's a big burst. But now we attack, right? So we attack with Force Giant. Okay, we cleared it. Did we just win? Oh, unless unless she's got a card, right? Unless. She... Yep, I think we just won. Nope. <laughs> oh no, it's six. She kills off our right, good dude. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, we got close, guys. Oh. Of course, she had a card. It's AI. She knows what's in my hand. What did she do? She just passed. For, okay, Force Protectors can play events. In turn, is now Force Protector main phase. Drew a card, and then pass the main phase. Looks like uh, she uh, used up all her awesome things. These guys aren't good. These guys are not considered good. They're considered wild apes and wild spirits and stuff like that. Okay, so if we play out our standard bar, we're going to get two humans, and they'll get uh, some stuff. So I think it's worth... I think it's worth... They don't... Cool. So I could have used that as defensive play, but I'm just going to build my board, man. So these guys are going to both get blocked, more than likely, by each wolf here. Or just deal nine damage to a champion. This is crazy. She is so buffed up. It is insane. Uh-oh. Um, We're just wasting all her cards, though, I guess. With our big dudes. Throw the eight. Get wrecked. Cleared the board. Cleared the board. Oh, she's going to break. What? Oh, what? <clears throat> Ow. She said a thing and I couldn't I couldn't hear it. Uh, what is this card? If it is your turn, break target damage champion. Um, she decided to draw two cards instead, though, I believe. Right? Is that what happened there? The uh, Force Protector resolve three damage, choosing Crick. Oh, she just did it to my face. Javelin Thrower. Oh, I guess Kong healed up before she could play that. Yeah, she's definitely out of plays. I'm just kind of grinding this down now. Um, let's play this draw card. No free card. We got her Banishment. Um, so she could block with this. My 13 damage. So I'm not going to be able to kill her this turn. I'm going to throw my human token in and see what happens. She's going to take that, right? Do you think she's holding a card? Champions heal up auto end of turn each turn. Right, 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 right. Crit nose, crit nose. Let's go ape, ape time. She got nothing? we react to this we can banish a target champion but they she gets to draw a card oh but this is so good these things are so buff because of uh, this this minotaur I think we got to get rid of this minotaur get rid of this minotaur we gotta do it gotta have to give him a card I could banish my own dude and draw a card Oh, I can banish multiple? Oh, but... Banish target champions. So I can... Oh, champion. Not champions. Champion. Alright, let's put that at the bottom of the deck. Gets to draw a card, which is no good for me. Man, we just need to get some freaking direct damage. If it is my turn, return target champion to its owner's hand. I think we draw... I think we draw two cards. I think we draw two cards. I think we pay a buck to draw two cards here. And... Then we could... 
return someone to our hand. Uh, no one's free for me here. I spent my gold. So who do we get rid of? Do we get rid? I just don't want to give her this again. That's three damage she can just do to me. Um, and we don't have our gold. Ah. Hmm. Maybe we hold on to that. Maybe we hold on to that and try to bear the, the brunt of her attack next turn. Man, this this is the situations I get into where I'm like, uh oh. If I pass the opponent and then on their turn I'll be able to draw two more cards because on the coin. She's just gonna attack me with I could take I could take the damage from the wolves unless she's gonna do some big buffs, right? You get rid of a wolf, it just goes away. Yeah, it would. But she keeps playing these awesome wolf build cards. I just feel like I'm burning my removal of, like, buff cards. Because it's a token, yeah. So if I do this, it can't go to the hand. It would just remove it. But whatever, right? Um, I mean, if she wants to try to defend some of this stuff, let's go! Let's see what she does. Okay, let's kill off some wolves. Kill off some wolves. Leave her with one dude. I think that's uh, not a bad play. Well, you, we've still got our meat shield human sitting here. Our 1-1 one, one human. Okay. More buffy cards. Oh, human's coming in. Unless she wants to blast me down. Okay. Come on. Big card. Uh, we could banish her discard pile. What was this one? Get rid of one of the champions. That's probably a good play. I think... I feel like there's been... Uh... Get rid of this. She won't be able to block with that other one since she used it to attack. So we've got a chance here. We've got a chance here. All right, here comes some... We'll see if she's got a million more wolf spawn cards. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, man. Ah! Oh! The wolves, man. The wolves. The wolves. Like, she have like a thousand wolf cards? Yes. The answer is yes. I'm going to attack with this. You going to hit me in the face? Nope. Blow up my dude. Ugh. So I could play this out and I can defend against this wolf at least. Question is, maybe I maybe I banish. So if I banish my entire discard pile, it's gonna reshuffle my deck, and I can try to get to that eight damage card again. I could try to get my fire flame strike back. It might not be a bad idea, because I don't know what's left in this deck. Yeah, I, I think direct damage is the big play, Bill. She doesn't heal. She doesn't really heal at all. So I'm actually thinking of banishing my own deck back so it'll reshuffle. Because she's not pulling anything from discard. Yeah, but if you, I think if you banish multiple cards, if a player has multiple cards banished simultaneously, they get shuffled. A banished card, if you do a single card, it goes to the bottom of the deck. If a player has multiple cards banished simultaneously, they get shuffled. No, it will get shuffled. It's only single cards that don't get shuffled. So it kind of it kind of works as like time traveler or help from future self right here, which might not be a bad play. So I can get some of my dudes back, like my free dudes. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. I think this is the next level play. <laughs> I don't know what else is in this deck. Okay. Break a damage champion. Dang. Uh, block here. Get wrecked, woofy face. Take two damage. Then I'm going to take five damage. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, good thing we have a ton of health. Ooh, we got this. This dude's back. Okay, we can get rid of a wolf this way. 
This gets rid of a wolf because of the uh, thing there. I think it's coming out. It's got to come out, right? Get rid of this. Done. Just get rid of a wolf. Now let's see what we can do here with these dudes. More wolves. <gasps> she might have it. Dang it! <laughs> We're so close. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm so sick of these dogs. Okay. 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 Well, this is getting old. I'm getting real sick of these dog cards, man. At least we got a free attack here. We can wipe a doggy. We can wipe her. I think maybe wiping her is better. Being that this is a 6-3. She's been doing 6, you know, if, rather than taking 6 damage... Force him to have to use some other stuff. Throw that javelin, says Ismati. Yeah, man. Have you been playing this, Ismati? What are your thoughts on it? I, I'm I'm learning still. It's time for a different game. Sounds good to me. No way, man. We're, we're beating this. We're beating this, man. Okay. I mean, what don't what don't you like? Did you not enjoy it session, or just find it's a little uh, a little different? So, my I was saying at the beginning of this that usually in these campaigns, like in Hearthstone, for instance, and the like, they just start deck building. Uh, I mean, the the AI decks that are built are just insanely hard to beat and are insanely built. Like they throw in twenty of these wolf spawn cards, whatever this card is here, this dinosaur looking thing. They throw in like a hundred or not that. Where's where's the thing she keeps playing every turn? Where's that spawn six wolves card? Where is it? Is it right here? Yeah, this card. Hunting pack. Like, she keeps playing stuff like that. Um, or this one here. The wolf's call. Uh, you know what I mean? I've been stuck on this mission. Three and a half hours total playtime. I, I think we can we can totally win it. I mean, I had the win last game. I just threw away my win condition. And we may even have it not here. But um, we'll see what happens. Dang. All right. Oh, what does this guy do? Oh, he put him in first. How do you get him in? Oh, because this is giving him ambush. Oh, that's really going to hurt us, guys. This is untargetable, so he's going to have to go with a wolf. And he's probably going to have that. Is he going to play out someone else? No, just wolf it. That, um, giving all wild creatures ambush. Ambush is basically... They can attack immediately. Okay, come on, draw. Big card. Direct damage? We got it. We got the game. We got the winner here. Seems like card draw is really important. Yes, Vathos. <laughs> um, I've kind of learned that. I usually overdraw, but we just got the win right here. We just got the win right here. Can you guys see? It looks blown out. And it is actually blown out on my screen as well. I don't know why. I, it must just be the, uh... The share. You guys can kind of see everything that's going on all right, right? I mean, especially when I blow it up. It looks a lot better. Let me know if I need to darken it. Yeah, ambush is haste. Thanks, Vathos. That's it. But it is it is very... But I mean, this is a single-player campaign stuff. And we just won right here. Because this is three damage. I don't know. <coughs> Boom! We did it. <coughs> Mission two accomplished. Second time around. We did it, guys. Yes! All right. We got through it. I was going to be sad if we couldn't pull that off. I was going to be super sad if we couldn't pull off crazy dog tree lady. But we did it. We we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Let's listen to the story. Oh! Rewards. Javelin thrower! I wanted the wolf card. <laughs> After you finally kill the last wolf, the dryad stands defenseless, tears in her eyes. You can see the green gem moving its way We're down monsters. from her veins. 
were marked. A flower grows out of her index finger as she passes the stone to you. Standing in the clearing, she frowns as she becomes a tree once again. More memories slip into your mind. You remember a map of the whole world in front of you. Your fingers trace over the model of the forest you are currently standing in. You hear bits and pieces of an argument. You wanted to create something different than someone else. And then everything in your mind is jumbled once again. Ah, uh, we're monsters. We killed all the dogs, guys. We're awful. I mean, those, those wolves were real mean. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I didn't want to kill the wolves. I didn't want to kill the dogs. I love the doggies. She did this. She did this. She can be as sad as she wants, but she made me do this. She she tried to kill us. Oh, they were conjured? Doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> True story. A group of knights stop you. Unfortunately for them, you don't take orders from anyone. Nope. After walking through the rest of the forest, you hear large thumps ahead of you, and your body tells you to go towards them. You feel the earth quaking beneath your feet, but for some reason, you aren't afraid. Nope. You know that ahead of you, a piece of you is there. You approach the end of the woods that leads out into a field with many hills. You see three large giants appear from the hills nearby. You watch them rampage towards the village in the valley. You know what you have to do. Oh, no. You know that a piece of you is in one of them. Why, why are pieces of me you everywhere? You continue to follow them. What am I? But before you can get close enough to fight, a group of knights stops you. They stare at you with your blood-covered hands and torn-up clothes. They demand you to stay back. It is official business only. Unfortunately for them, you don't take orders from anyone. That's right. I make the rules here. I don't take orders from anyone. Look at this dude. Who does that look like? That's a good looking guy, man. I wish I had hair like that. Man, it's almost like Keanu Reeves as like the knight. Keanu Reeves, Silver Knight. Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's go. We're getting knights under arrest. Nobody tells me what to do. Now we're going to have to fight giants. This is going to be not wolves. They're going to spawn eight giants. A turn now is what I have a feeling. Look at this. Look at this dude we're fighting. That's called under arrest. All right. Let's see. Let's see who we end up with in this rant. I think we keep. So our deck just keeps growing off what it was. I assume we keep the same deck. And now we have a javelin thrower in it because we defeated uh, tree lady with dogs. I don't think the deck changes every every uh, chapter or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I think there was at least until... Yeah, exactly. Cheese pants, bindi cards. We're at Bitten. Got Consume in here. We're start, So we can get rid of that. Whoop. Not that. Get rid of Consume. Um, so like when, when people were saying this is very draw heavy, I think what in this game, what's very valuable is keeping... Uh, if, if your deck starts having a lot of what they call loyalty cards, where it says loyalty two, you have to play two of the same type, like in this instance, a wild up in the top left of the card. I think that's when the card draw gets really essential and holding cards in your hand, obviously, to proc abilities. But like right now, this deck they're giving us for this campaign doesn't really have, at least in my deck that I'm playing with, doesn't have a lot of loyalty stuff in it. So I think playing out the cards is better than holding a lot of them, but at the same time, I end up being card broke, right? My hand ends up, like, I end up losing dramatically. Um, where cards like Apocalypse are helpful. Would have been helpful in that other thing um, for drawing cards and stuff like cards. But I want to get to, if this is the same deck that I've been playing with this entire campaign, I sort of just want to dig up our, um, our Groots that are free Groots. So like I want to I want to toss bitten I'm gonna to toss consume um, I'm gonna to toss this apocalypse card these are like later cards I'm gonna keep the javelin thrower just because she's free I'm not gonna play her this turn but I think we can do that and take three damage we'll learn because we don't know what we're against correct you must reveal it you're right um, okay 
Game on. Mythic Monster. We got Javelin Thrower. Who'd we get? We, we got another Consume. Uh, we got the Palace Guard. Oh, we got our Flame Strike. That's right. That's This is the old school Face Hunter or Face Mage, Aggro Mage from Hearthstone days. Just blast them for eight damage uh, every turn and win game. Well, I guess we're just going to spend our buck and get our and get our Mythic Monster out and draw a card. Um, and I could throw out our Javelin Thrower and just hit do we have any other removal right now in our hand? Um, well, we have this consume removal, which I'll keep. So maybe I just throw this out to get a body out and then hit here for three. Right between the eyes. <clears throat> right between the eyes. Very quiet. All right, pass to opponent. I'm going to hold on to that. Because who knows what they're going to play. Dang. Shields up! All right, we're against, we're against the armored dudes. That's sad times. Sad times. So we could blast him down with Flame Strike, although Bill Strat is just do all damage. We could do 11 damage to him right now with what's in our hand, direct damage. Um, next turn though, we can just banish this target champion, uh, but I've got a free gold. So I think with the free gold, we play Apocalypse and draw two cards, free gold, draw cards. Drawing cards wins games. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I could throw that back to his hand, but then he just removes my dudes. Not cool with that. Uh, we've got 16 damage now. We have two flame strikes. So we've almost got our win condition. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to pay a buck, though, to banish that dude out of here. Um, and then just try and attack and, and maybe pull some stuff out. What does he do again? Oh, yeah, he has to banish the discard pile. Which includes my own. Wait, so you were saying, Zeshin, you were clarifying that when you banish multiple cards from a discard pile, that it's not shuffled into the entire draw deck. It's only the dis the the returned discard cards are shuffled together and then put at the bottom of the deck, not mixed back into the cards. Is that correct? And now I have a burn deck. Exactly, Vathos. And now I have a face mage or aggro mage, if you will. Yeah, I have 16 damage plus this. I have 19 total damage. This is free. This is exactly what Aggro Mage was. You quit to turn 8, and then you just flame, 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 flame. Okay, oh, okay. So the discard pile is shuffled and then put under the draw deck. It's not shuffled back in. Okay. I gotcha. Recycle, I think, shuffles it all back in. That other mechanic. We don't have in our deck yet. Okay. So I think I just pop out. This goes back to their hand, right? Oh, I see plays. Okay, I'm going to play this. Bounce this dude. Shields up. So he goes to the bottom of the deck. I'm then going to play... I think I'm going to do Vanishing. Watch this play, guys. Combos. It's my turn. I'm going to bring her back to my hand. Javelin Thrower. Coming out. Three damage to the face. Right between the <clears throat> Boom. Cycles. Um, and then we're done. Look at that. Look at that play. Oh, banish all zero champions. Oh, it's their turn. Banish all gold cost champions. Is that what that said? Yeah. Banish all one gold champions. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we got a free turn here. Do I have any draw? I only have damage. I can do eight damage to the face right now. I think we do eight damage to the face with this gold. Because that's our strat. We're we're aggro mage right now. <laughs> that's plays for days. Um, we do have one more damage for free, but I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna hold on to that since we're playing a burn deck all of a sudden. Ooh, this would hurt us. That would be bad unless I hit myself, hit here, and then I could actually do five damage to them. So that's five eight. She's at thirteen. Um, do I want to banish this card? Get a dude out? I think I just keep attacking. Do I just keep attacking with my damage? Doesn't look like they're healing. Like, I almost... I feel like I should get another dude out. Um, I can do 11 damage right now. 11? Or can I win? 11? Let's get creative. 3, 4, 5. 5 plus... 
Oh, I can do eight damage. I can do eight total damage right now. With Rain of Fire, I could blow up my own Javelin Thrower. I could do four damage to my face, and then I do five damage there, but it cost me a gold. And then I could do Consume for three, heal myself back up for three, so I'm only taking one damage. I think that's not a bad play. I'm losing board control, but... And because those are all event cards... Or I could do 11 damage right now and not hurt myself at all and actually heal up. Consume targets champions only. Oh, dang. Good call. So... So maybe I just do Flame Strike and do Rain of Fire after that to win. Yeah, but attack with Javelin first for sure and see see what happens. Yeah, let's see 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 a reaction because those are all event cards I'm using. Let's see if they react to me. AI's thinking, I think. Oh, I can do attack events. No. Draw two cards, put two human tokens into play. Okay, so we're gonna fight some fight some humans, and then they're gonna die. So I could wipe them out so that she can't block. I could do Rain of Fire and do five damage to the face. Dude, this is nuts. This is a good play. Three, four, five. Apply. Oh. oh my gosh, we're nuts. We're almost there. Dang. They can heal. They can heal. But it's going to take five damage, right? Unless she wants to keep uh, getting nuts. Assign damage. Okay, we got him to 10. Nice. All right, next level, please. Guys, we're getting smarter. We're getting smarter. Um, yeah, I'm done. Pass to a phone. Okay. Um, eh. That's a lot of dudes. A lot of one dudes. A lot of one, 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 ones. Lots of dudes, lots of dudes, lots of dudes. What's this guy doing? Okay. So he doesn't have, what is that? Excite <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, basically charge or whatever. So that he can't attack me this turn with those dudes. Um, I have a free gold. So I think it's eight to the face. He can defend and then see what we draw. I think it's eight to the face for free. Can't you do 11 damage? No, this won't do three damage to the face. I have to do uh, aggro villagers, exactly. Ag aggro silver knights. Um, the knights god. This can only do three to the champions. Bill caught me on that calculation. Um, I could... No. Okay. Alright, so I think I'm going to Flame Strike for free just to the face before they heal. See if I can get ahead of it. Maybe we'll get a spell that does three damage. Three damage? No. They've got so many dudes. Um, we could put a bunch of guys into play. Uh, I want to get rid of this dude, of course. Because we're about to take a ton of damage. So I think we need something out there to help us not die. To, I don't know, what is this? How many dudes? One, two, three. Oh, this guy. What's this guy doing? Oh, this he's just chilling. One, two. Okay, that's one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, seventeen damage. If we can find a way to do two damage, that would be pretty awesome. He's going to kill off my javelin thrower if I try to do anything. So I could, I could tank the ones and then just sort of fight back on the others. And this gives me two champions. This is with the ambush, though. I can play that on his turn with ambush. I can also play this on his turn with ambush. Uh, so I'm going to play this now. And just get rid of his discard pile. What? Ah, hey. Let's do that. <laughs> Oh God, I'll just have a body out. I don't think I'm going to attack. But I think... 
I think I should wipe. Should I wipe one of these dudes? One of these one ones? Do I care? Wouldn't you want to save that eight until it's guaranteed kill? Well, I want to put a body out and have it as a blocker. So I can then, I'm not going to respond. Then I'll respond to his 8-8 attack versus his 1-1 attack. Oh, you're saying like, well, because if I, if I, this is his turn. So you're saying once I see them attack, then I play it out and then put it as a thing versus now so that he can't play a spell and just remove it. You're probably right. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. That was probably a bad play. It was the thought I had for standard bearer, but I didn't really think it. Yeah, you're talking about, like, we don't know what event cards they have. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, my gosh. He's buffing up all his dudes. Um, so now they're all 3-3s. Three so right here, I could, I could do consume and tag this guy. I could do this, get some tokens in, which is what we were saying earlier. So I think I'll pay the buck here. And then I'll wipe that guy with this consume just because I have it. <clears throat> just remove three damage that I want to tank, maybe. He didn't attack. When this card attacks, your champions get plus two attack this turn. Okay, so we need to remove that one dude somehow. And we don't have the cards to do it. Where's that dude? Where's that bro? Where's that bro that just came in here? This guy. Okay. They all have plus two. I have plus two as well. So we're just going to go face to face if I try to freaking fight these guys. This gives me a ton of power, but it's not going to matter. So I guess it doesn't matter if I just play it, right? I think it really matters if I play it now. It's free. Hmm. I'm just going to be trading dudes, right? He has so many humans out. And I'm digging for my, like, removal card. Ugh. I feel like I should just play this out. Or just hold on. I, I think I'm just going to hold on to it. I think I hold on to it because it's an ambush card. But I think I attack, right? Attack with the 8-8? Eight, eight? I think I attack with the 8-8 eight, eight and force him to have to, like, sack one of his dudes. And then I'll use my other dudes as just, like... Whatever. Man, this is, like... I'm going to attack with this guy. comes more dudes. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to die to Zoo. We're going to die to Zoo Lock here. Um, I might need this guy out. Who are you blocking with? This guy? Whoa, we trade. Right? He's not good, so this won't do anything. So we're just going to trade off. Whoa. So he sacked this guy. Oh, who cares? I guess for him. Um, I think I gotta keep my meat shields to stay alive. This is the end of my turn, isn't it? Uh, do I keep attacking? I think I just need bodies. Charge! I'm not gonna attack. I just need bodies to stay alive. I just need to stay alive. Alright, who's killing this guy? He's a five damage bro. You are. Block it. Get wrecked. Alright, where's the next one? Uh, five damage bro. Jeez, man. Yeah, the unlimited battle line thing is pretty crazy. You right, you right. What is this? When this card attacks, your champions get plus two. I think I throw him in. Let's 
throw him in. Come on, play one of your big dudes. I think we just have to YOLO. He has so many dudes. I have to. I think I just have to YOLO and hope that we get a direct damage card to win. If we survive. That's 10. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Oh, he got us with 12 damage at the end there. Oh. Dude, that that's nuts. That's Zoo. We died to Zoo Lock. We died to Zoo Lock. That's what we freaking died to. We didn't die to anything but Zoo Lock just there. That's what it feels like to die to Zoo Lock. Am I right? I think I'm right. I think it's exactly what just happened. We just died to straight up Zulok. <laughs> okay, I've been defeated. I have been freaking defeated. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick bio and I'm gonna be right back. I need to take a quick bio break because that's that was nuts, man. That was nuts. Like, I mean, I think it's just gonna be a grind. We just gotta grind it out, but definitely check the game out, guys. Uh, check the game out. We're gonna come back and give it another go. We're gonna keep battling it out. Uh, using these pre-built decks today. This has been a good way to learn it. I think uh, it was good getting into the campaign mode um, and trying to play through because I think the biggest advantage of this game is just figuring out, one, what's in the deck, two, the card pool, uh, and learning learning all this stuff. Um, and it comes to Steam tomorrow, Vathos. Tomorrow uh, is the release date, according to White Wizard Games' email, if you didn't get that email. Um, if you got the email, it's coming out. Let's see. Just confirming this again. 221 got the email okay cool yeah that's what reminded me of this too man and that's the fact this is free guys don't let me fr don't forget this is a free game everything's free except for the like the shinies um which don't really matter they're not anything powerful just the same cards just they look cool and it does matter because you want to play with all your gold cards right <laughs> um i'll be right back i'm just gonna go take a quick file break All right. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> the music stopped because uh, the screen uh, shut off. <laughs> All right, we're back for some more epic, epic card game digital stuff. I just got to, because the, the you got to keep, I got to keep it alive here. So we can get the game back. Stand by. Because I'm playing on iOS today, guys, by the way. So everything you're seeing, iOS, iOS ios for days and we're back we have been defeated oh you in the physical game too bathos nice have you played with like four people and that kind of thing because that's really cool you just buy a deck or you buy the box and you got everything you need right i think it was like 15 bucks for the physical cards i read somewhere i haven't played it physically but we're trying this again a group of yeah yeah nine. we know the mission we know your zoo we know you just play a zoo deck the entire time with all your stabby night guys cheats baby cards baby plays so what's our strat? There's our Kong. We could have used him earlier. Sadly, I've not gotten it to the table. Well, what I like about it, Vathos, is it's a game you can throw in your quiver. It's just like Star Realms. You buy Star Realms, you buy that main starter box thing. Um, Star Realms being more like the deck builder type. But it's everything you need, and you're not digging for anything. It's not like you have to, you know, go buy some booster packs and then play some cards. I think the last time we played Magic, Lyle and I were just in the hotel room and we got a couple boosters that they gave us for free. Uh, we had fun playing it, though, but he slaughtered me because of the cards he got versus what I got. <laughs> Still fun. 
still fun. I think that's the only way I'd play like magic. People recommended I play like in Magic the Gathering that I play something called Popper, which I guess is like a cool drafty, not insane type way to play magic for people like myself. Same reason I love Hero Realms. Yep, Hero Realms as well. Also from White Wizard, right? I got to play Hero Realms. I've never played Hero Realms personally. Okay, strat here. We're against Zulok is burn him down faster than he burns us down. <laughs> I think is, is the goal here. Uh, okay, also this card here. Each other player, each player chooses a champion they control. Break all other champions. Um, I think we need to hold on to this because of what we know we're up against. Uh, this is okay, I guess. I kind of, I think I might toss him back uh, for later. Um... I think I'm going to throw Bitten away. I'm going to throw Consume away uh, from what we're learning here. So Bitten, Consume, this bro. I'm going to keep Standalone, and we're going to keep Kong for now just because he's a body. I think if we can get some bodies, we can get ahead of the game. If we need to break all our dudes, we're going to keep Standalone for that. Um, and hopefully, we can like keep Kong alive. That's, that's my theory. Oh, we got our Groots. Yes, we got our Groots. We got the nuts. Groot. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys, we won because we got Groot. Um, oh, we could also banish our own dudes. Oh, we got our mythic monster as well. Draw a card. I think that's a great start. Let's go with it. All right, let's do this thing. We got two of these dudes. So we got some target removal. Oh, gosh, he has palace guards. That's right. Mean. Oh, here come the humans. Oh. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, it's enemy turn, so I don't want to do this on his turn to make him draw a card, because he's just going to draw more dude cards. And I think it's... Is it too early to play standalone? <laughs> do we care if he draws a card? Do we care that he draws a card? This is gold on his turn. I'm going to get another gold here to use on, like, Kong. Um, I'm thinking of banishing. I'm thinking of banishing this dude and then playing Kong next turn and removing this dude. And he's just going to draw a card. I think we have to let him draw a card. Get rid of these human... I'm sure he has, like, a thousand of those. Plus, they're free for him. Uh, and then we're done. Let's see what we draw. Grave Demon does the discard pile. It's got ambush for backup stuff. Um, I think Kong's coming out against this dude just to clear him from the board because he's big boy. Um, what what did he play when we attacked last time? I think he has like ambushy little dudes, but let's see if we can draw him out. Yep. Your champions get plus four damage. Dang. Oh, he's going to put more humans in? He's healing. Well, we cleared the humans with our Groot. Hopefully we can get a new Groot. Man, this battle is going to be hard, man. Oh, my gosh. Flank exposed. Flank exposed. No doubt. Uh, okay, so they're just getting plus four for this turn. And this dude only gives the bonus if he attacks. <sighs> so I could play this banishment card to draw another card. If we fall behind, we always have our standalone. I plan to play that on his turn. Um, I guess we're going to play this and banish... Do I care about this guy? I mean, he's a 9-5. They're going to lose their plus 4. This guy's going to give plus two on attack. So these guys are kind of done doing their thing. They're just big boys. Um, it's other champions. This card, your, your champions get plus two attack this turn. This isn't a body. I think I get rid of, I think I get rid of one of his big guys. So they're not going to blow up my, my Kong immediately. Because that would be 11. Not that they would. I thought I get to draw a card. What? Oh, it's... 
Oh, it is his turn still. Okay. That was a mistake. I'm giving him cards when I actually want him to get card broke, right? I need to remove his good cards. I wanted to use maybe this. To force him to choose, but he probably just would have chosen... Oh, this is another clear. Break all champions on my turn. But I think we need cards. We need cards. We need cards and we need bodies. <laughs> you know what's the main problem with humans? They multiply like rats. Yeah, exactly. Just like this, we're back in... I'm glad we haven't, we haven't run into rats because it'd be it's too soon for rats right now. It's too soon. Too soon for rats. I couldn't handle rats right now. Um, maybe we attack... And he's, maybe he'll drop a bunch of dudes, and then we can proc something like this before we play uh, Ambush, before we play this card. So I think I attack right now. I think this Order of Operations thing. See if he wants to do something. Like draw cards and play humans all day. Okay, so he's going to drop a bunch of Charge! stuff. I think maybe this is kind of what Bill was saying earlier. Like, we need to kind of start drawing out cards. So I could stand alone right now. Which forces him to choose a dude. And without all his dudes, it kind of gives me a chance to maintain my uh, my monkey guy. So I think we can play stand alone. Choose this dude. Okay, he chooses his 5-5. Five, five. Maybe he won't block with it? That's a great card. He takes the damage. Okay, because he healed up. I think he knew he knew it was coming. Tribute put two human tokens. More humans are in play. Okay. Dang. Um, he's attacking here. I can throw out my, my demon to block this. Which will banish his... I can banish someone's discard pile. Let's just say his. Um, he can add some more attack event stuff. Uh, I'm going to put this guy out to block. We don't die. Can't believe we survived. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. Whew. He's got He's got the warriors dudes. What's this guy? He's a 2-5. He's giving them. They're not 1-1s one because of that buff. I almost just want to blow that up. Oh, I need to get back to that card, man. I, I really feel like we need card draw. But we also need to do face damage here. Draw some more cards to get back to this card, dude. I wish we could... Have, I hope we have more of these in this deck. This, I think, is going to be... The standalone card is really good for us. It's almost like Unnatural Selection from Keyforge. <laughs> it's like, that card is so good. Uh, unnatural Selection from Keyforge, man. Um, thank you so much for all the hosts, by the way, guys. I see uh, we got a bunch of people coming in here. So thank you so much. If I, if it happened while I stepped away, I apologize. We appreciate all the support here at the camp. Thank you, thank you. We hope you guys check out Epic. Uh, it's right now available. Coming out on Steam tomorrow, as we learn what's happening here. I'm stuck. Do we, do we go face? Bill would say we go face. Um, otherwise, Apocalypse Now. <laughs> Do we break all champions? I don't think we break all champions. That's stupid. That would be dumb. I'm actually thinking about doing Flame Strike and taking out the biggest dude, also known as the Standard Bearer. Just to keep his dudes down, man. Ugh. And then we attack. He's just gonna put, he's gonna put his two dudes out to block my two dudes, which would be stupid. Um, I'll probably just keep my guys and take two damage then. Uh, if I if I play this card, I'm going to be so sad that I didn't just throw it into his face like Face Hunter. <sighs> of course, I don't have to do anything. Let's draw cards. I am Groot. Oh, we got another standalone card. Woo! I don't know if I want to attack, Bill. I'm actually thinking of... I mean, I could do... Uh, maybe I'll attack with one and keep one dude as a blocker. 
Because I'm like, he's not doing that much damage. But let's see what happens. Let's do our Gravedigger guy. He's going to play some stuff. Oh, he's going to banish all my guys. Oh. He... What? Banish all. Zero champ. Oh, he wanted to draw a card. Ah, he's digging. He's digging. I mean, this is AI, so who knows what he's doing. But he didn't want to banish his one cost standard bearer. He could have banished all my dudes and kept his dudes on the board, which is kind of weird, right? Now we almost have our win condition back again. Um, I don't have anyone with ambush, so to defend... I guess we could play the Sage event. Yeah, let's attack now. Now that we got our Sage card, I think we have a chance. This standalone, this standalone is awesome. Oh, I can just win. Ha <laughs> Aggro Mage! <laughs> what was I thinking? Yes, we did it, guys! Woo! It's bonus all 10 crits right there. Yes, crits for the people. Yes, we did it. <laughs> that was nuts. Mission accomplished. Oh, my gosh. I, I was, like, overthinking that dramatically. Oh. Oh, we got, we got a box. Let's see what we get, guys. One time foil. Forced exile. Boom. Yes, we're making our way. Oh, we could go. We can do a human zoo. I guess zoo. Like I thought. I thought evil was about zoo. Good is about zoo. <laughs> oh, we got a story. You dispatch their commander. A few of the cavalry flee before you can kill them. Also, they're not even close to being the worst of your problems, and so you didn't even try to stop them. As you continue to approach the giants. More and more frightened villagers pass by as they run from their destroyed homes. It is time to end the destruction. It's time to end the destruction, guys. Never been less scared. Giant. Giants have been destroying the village. Defeat them before they make you their next meal. You stand on the hill watching the giants destroy the village beneath you. Their erratic movements take down houses and even entire guard towers in seconds. Dang, man. One of the giants wraps his large muddy fingers around a tree before he rips it right out of the ground. His jagged teeth bite through the hard bark of the tree with ease. You are standing at his mouth level. And you can see the termites and slugs being crushed in his mouth. Eee. His attention turns to you. His eyes lock with you, and a wicked smile forms on his face. A blue sparkle shines in his mouth. Kill the giants before they make you their next meal. Okay, we gotta do this, guys. They're basically uh, ice zombies or whatever they were from Game of Thrones. They've been taken over by the Ice Lord, Frost Lord, Frost, Frostborn, Frost Witch. Here's the giant. So last time, last battle, I thought we were being, we were going to fight giants. We just fought Zulok. <laughs> so, that's right. Slimy, yet satisfying. Akuna Matata possession. Akuna Matata. All right, here we go. Akuna Matata. Oh, jeez, it's loud now. Game audio's up. All right, guys, we're against giants. No idea what this, their deck is made up of. We just do this blind. All right, let's find out what we're starting with. I love that standalone card. Standalone, so good in this deck. This card, so good. This card's so good. New favorite card. One of them. I think that I think that vampire card was amazing. That card is amazing. Um, this card I've really just been using for... This doesn't really go with this deck. This card, eh. I think we're going to get rid of that card. This card, awesome card. Reign of Fire. Um, Javelin Thrower. She's free, and we can do that combo where we swap them back in. So I think we get rid of Apocalypse. Um, we get rid of this bro. And, or maybe we save Apocalypse for his turn so we can draw cards. I kind of wanted to sack two of these, though. Or just sack one. Well, who are we starting with? That's the question. Let's 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 return Reign of Fire back into the deck. Um, and, and this card. We need to get some bros, because we don't have any bros here. We need bros. Except our javelin thrower, who's free. 
I'm gonna keep standalone though, because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, we got Groot, we got Groot. I am Groot. This is like Groot's um, thinner cousin or something. He's like, hey man, wanna, wanna shoot hoops, bro? He looks like he's like, hey man, hey man. Uh, what do we got here? This is our draw two cards on his turn card. Oh, but this is our this is our uh, javelin thrower combo for three damage, three damage. So let's throw this out. Mm. Woo. Um, we could draw two cards right now, rather than do our cycle with vanishing. Right? I mean, I think this is a good start. I mean, if we do this, I say we draw two cards for a buck. Start of the game, what's he really going to do? And we'll get our cycle back in time. Let's just do three damage. I mean, we don't know what's in this deck. I have a feeling it's just big boys, big boys. So standalones become pretty helpful. And so is our, our AoE, like, wipey. Our key to disc. Our key to disc deck. Yep. Kong. Ow. Hey, we got a Kong. Oh, Kong can't kill Kong. Just realized. Well, standalone doesn't do anything here. Right, pass. Do you want to spend yours? They spent their gold. I I mean, oh, I guess I could draw two cards. I don't need two of these. So let's get some more cards. Cards. Uh, we could put Courageous Soul out for free right now. I, mean, I guess it doesn't hurt. But at the same time, if we, sh if we don't show it to him, he doesn't know that we have an ambush card for free. That could suck up some damage for us. It's a meat shield, if you will. How are we dealing with this Kong? I guess Palace Guard next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to overplay. I think my problem with this game is I overplay my hand thinking I need dudes out. And I think it's Key Forge habit. <laughs> it's like, I need dudes on board. I need dudes on board. I really don't need dudes on board all the time. Oh, Mythic Murmook. Uh, but I think we need to go Palace Guard to remove this Kong, since we don't really have... We have two of them, too. That's good. I think we Palace Guard uh, to do that on Kong. Shields up! Shields up. Bye, Kong. And we're going to save our other Palace Guard for that as well. Um, see, he's not attacking. Yeah, let's throw out... Let's, let's get her to attack. Let's see what let's see what he's doing here. He's probably gonna have a giant dude with ambush. You may put a champion through hand into play. Oh my gosh, surprise attack. Kong. Um I'm probably gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. Okay. I mean. This is saying, okay, five. I could throw him out, but he can't attack. <laughs> uh, because of ambush, that would, yeah. I mean, whatever, or we're dead. Okay, we just have to figure out ways. Palace Guard isn't doesn't have ambush, that's the problem. So, uh, yep. So here's gonna be our, this is where Courageous Soul comes in. <laughs> Unless we want to draw a card and hope. Um, and pray. Charge! But. Okay, let's see if he's going to be able to blast us. Nope. Block it with our. <laughs> Meat shield. He doesn't blast it down. We die. All right. Oh, okay. We've got a. We got a big boy coming at us. It's a 12 17 raging cyclops. All right. Rampaging cyclops. We could try to draw into a Groot with our standalone. I think we have to. Let's try to draw into our Groot. Nope. Oh, we got consumed. Great. I mean, I don't even think Groot has ambush, does he? No, we wouldn't. That wouldn't have saved us. We had no free. Ugh, dang it. I mean, we could. We're gonna minimize the damage taken if we play consume. Dang. I think we're we're gonna get beat. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. And then we're just gonna have to remove one of them with Palace Guard next turn. Yeah, this this fight's gonna be big dudes fighting big dudes game. 
I'm gonna save on. I'm gonna hold my consume card. That's it. Ow! Oh man, we're in trouble. We in trouble. Dun dun dun. Well, here's Groot. I am Groot. Okay. Well, it's a 17 and a 14 to break. I'm wishing I hadn't drawn cards with my break all champions card now. Um, dang, I don't want to return anything to their hand. I mean, I guess we could return him to their hand, but in fact, he's got Blitz. It's like, I can't, I need to just do a swipe. Because I could Palace Guard and get, I could put him back in the hand. So I could Palace Guard, put that 1217 back in the hand and get our Groot out, basically. Which gives us two dudes. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to banish Kong. Do we do vanishing? Uh, this rage, I guess it buys us a turn, maybe? Right? Because, I mean, I don't have a cycle. We'll get Groot out. So now we've got some meat shields, at least. That's it. That's it. This is going to be hard, man. It's going to be a hard battle. Frost giant. Great. So he's got he can he can exhaust us completely. Great. If he's return, return target. Okay, he's got a vanishing as well. What is he doing? Deadly raid. Oh good. Get unblockable and plus two. Oh my gosh. What was that? Loyalty X. We haven't seen a loyalty X. For each card revealed, you may return one target opposing champion to its owner's hand. All right, dude, this this guy's deck is insane. Is this like a green deck? This is like green-blue deck from Magic, I'm assuming. Where everything bounces, counters, and is big. So we're going to take... We're going to get beat. Um, I mean, I can save us three health by firing this off. Uh, we're not going to die. We're going to be at five health left, so... Okay. I can't block it. I'm just going to take... I have to take it. I'll save my... Maybe he has a three... Three... <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything I can play, so... Dun, dun, dun. What does she do? Break target champion? We can get rid of that. We can get rid of it. Um, That's pretty helpful. We could just banish it with our palace guard. We got a force guard here. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, palace guard banishes it. Oh, we could just break it straight up with Kong. Gets Kong out. So maybe this is a... Maybe that's the play. We get our Kong out. And uh, we consume to heal. Because I don't think he's playing anything small guy. He did reveal a bunch of stuff, but... I think it was mostly spells and stuff. So let's Kong... I just did that for the health, really. I didn't really need to do it to, to crush him. But I'm trying to stay alive here, man. Got to stay alive. Uh, return my Kong. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. And he can straight up attack. So I could just do this. I could pay my defensive buck to break target champion, or I could block with my group. I think this... I think I gotta do this to break the champion and just give him a zombie. Not bad. Not bad. Now are we scared of zombies? Probably. Hmm. We could just Kong that zombie, but I want to save my big damage. And maybe we save our flame strike defensively as well. So I'm just going to play out Mythic Murmook here. All right. Oh, we could use that right now. Heal up. I think... Just do this so it can't sack our... Because uh... I'm sure he's got big dudes. Um... 
yeah, I'm gonna attack here. It's gonna draw two cards. Okay. Take the damage. Yeah, that's right. Ah, I need dudes with ambush, man. Oh, we can we can take care of that with flame strike. Oh great. He's showing us his frost giants. Oh dang. We will survive this amazingly. This card is nuts. This card is so OP. This Frost Titan thing and then the other thing he's got. I can't kill it. I think we just have to tank it. Of course, this is going to cost us a buck next turn and I need this. Ugh, I, I just can't keep my guys on the board, man. Ow. Oh, good. He's got Groots as well. Okay. I'm going to hit start my turn. And we have to get the... What is this card? We have to hope we have another one of... Uh, it was gone. In the, I don't, this doesn't really keep this in any order for me, does it? I, I wonder if... Oh, I guess it does. It's your last card played is at the end instead of the top of the deck over there. Um, it's in the deck. There's the, there's the card I mulliganed at the beginning of the game that breaks everything in one shot. We have to get it right here. I guess I could spend my defensive... I, call, I keep killing it my defensive gold. Which would wipe that dude off. So let's do it. Even though... Just in case, I guess. This is a just in case shot. Nope. <laughs> Didn't get it. We're gonna die to Groot. Well, we can play our Groot. We can sack his Frost Titan, which is just nuts, with Kong. And then it's going to be Groot v. Groot. And maybe we'll survive? I don't know. These Frost Titans are just murdering us. <laughs> Alright, here we go. One time. One time. No! No! He has two of those! <laughs> we got killed by Groot! No! Savage! Oh, man! Oh! This game is brutal, dude. Why so hard? Why so hard this game? Oh! Those giants, dude! So painful! Dude, did you see three of those cards he had, though? That one where you can do Loyalty X. He revealed, like, five cards. He just sends all my dudes back to the hand, and then he's got a 12-14 out on the board. And then the other one that he ended me with there, it just freaking... Yeah, too many giants. <laughs> ah, and then that last guy... Like, how am I supposed to defend against, like, him exhausting my entire board? Or just, you know, like... I can't. He keeps throwing my door. He keeps keeps my dudes off the board, which is what I need to do to him. But I don't. I I only have the way to like really, like this dude's good. Need him in my hand. So standalone isn't really what I need. I need more just my big clears because I don't want him to have a dude on the board, right? Um. Ambush is good. I think we need to get rid of flame. Like, well, maybe keeping flame strike is good because I can play it off turn. This is helpful. I mean, we definitely need to want to keep our forest giant up. Which is our Groot. Hmm. I mean, it's almost like I'm going to... My first play here... I mean, this is almost like a good starting hand. I start with forest... Or I start with standalone. I draw two cards. And then I throw out a forest giant. Does this have to be on my turn? No, just break all other champions. Except he gets to choose who he wants to keep, and that's my problem. So I, I think I'm going to keep this hand. Oh, I should just play standalone first. I mean, I'm just digging for cards here. Charge! I think getting dudes out will be good. All right, play your big dudes. Make my dudes go away. Like, that's insane. He just gets to play a dude for free. Now he's just going to knock him back to my hand. Charge! 
Great. He has another one in his hand. And then he can straight up just attack me. I mean, at least I got a dude on board. That's a 1013, so my my grave demon can't do anything about it. Except die. I mean I could. Oh, I can throw my good Oh, look who it is. Standard bear is coming into play. Let's standard bear this thing. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I could do six damage to this guy, but I think I only need to do one. Just sack one. It's something. Because next turn, now we can palace guard that guy away. I think we're just going to have to slowly get ahead. We need to stand alone as a board clear for the big boys. Yeah, I have two of them in here. It's just going to be like getting little dudes out to block damage, and I'm slowly just going to have to get my windows of opportunity. Maybe even just, like we were saying before, with my flame strikes, burn them down, um, and use just like meat shields all day. Like here, I can pop, I could pop the force giant, but force giant's not really my fear. Like I want, and I need him to go out of cards so that he can't keep utilizing these dudes. He has one more in his hand. So he's going to reveal three cards. So if I can get a bunch of dudes on the board, he's going to have to deal with that. So maybe I just ignore the forest giant. And I sack this 1013 using this guy. And then I can even, I even got my grave demons as ambushes. So I'm just going to have to build up my board. Even though this guy's exhausted. Let's get rid of him. So the thing is, if I attack, that'll exhaust his forest giant. I'm just thinking of what my, uh, you know, and I can just trade forest giants. Like, I'm thinking of keeping my meat shield. Like, maybe I don't attack immediately. Maybe I need to just build a board so that he has less stuff that he can bounce when he reveals. He's going to bounce three of these things. So I need to just chill. I need to be able to have something to defend with. Oh, great. That's right. He has this thing, too. This is fun. Oh, my gosh. I crush. Okay. So he's coming at me. We could throw this dude out. Banish his discard pile. And suck up the damage with our human. Or we do eight damage to something. I maybe do eight damage to this guy while I have a chance. So eight damage there. And then meat shield it. Or wait, if I do three, that'll put him at 14. I have no way of stopping a freaking 17. I'm just going to have to do a straight up removal with that. But if we're fighting for board here, this dude's actually buffing up a lot of dudes, which is really good. Man, I don't know. I kind of, I want to put this into the, into his face, but I can't think this through. I think we just declare blockers and just keep fighting for board control, right? I'm going to do this. Since we're going to have to do this anyway, let's see what else he does. I don't know. Like, I could sack... He could attack with his Groot up here. So maybe I pay a buck on the Frost Giant thing. I don't know what I'm going to draw. That's the thing. I could draw into my Wipe Everything stuff. So maybe I just start my turn. But this is a free dollar, man. This is a free buck. I think I need bodies on the board. Let the bodies hit the board. Let the bodies hit the board. And then maybe I play Grave Demon then. I don't know. I'll play Grave Demon now. Just to have something big on the board. I think that's important. Great. Three damage to target champion. 
Um, I guess I could do that if he's going to... He's probably going to defend with one of these two big dudes up here. Um, Groot clears either of them. I mean, if I do this, I clear that. He would have to do it with his Groot, which trades Groots. And then we have to see what else he's got to defend with, which may be my, my window of opportunity here. Um, so I'm going to actually flame strike this guy. Uh, which in turn I don't want to trade if I don't have to trade Groots now I, either way whoever I attack with I'm going to die so let's get rid of if, he, if he's going to bounce Groot I want it to be free so I'm going to throw this guy out and attack he can declare blockers or do something crazy he probably has. Um, I was thinking of playing Consume on Groot if he attacks with it. If he blocks with it. Okay, he is blocking with it. So I need to kill Groot. So if I'm going to die, you're going to die. Because otherwise... Oh, wait. That was stupid. Oh, he would have died anyway because he only has six. I thought he was a nine. Eight. It was a nine, six. All right, whatever. Uh, I kind of want to see what's going to happen. Because this will buff up my other dudes if I attack with this and he doesn't defend it. Nice. So that buffed him up. I'll attack with that now. Boom. All right. We're getting there. Is he going to do anything about this dude? No. Did we just win? I d There's no way we just won. We just won. Yeah! That's crits for the people. That's bonus all. 10 crits right there. Yes. We did it, guys. Oh. That's what we had to do. We had to maintain that board, man. That was all about ba board maintenance. Yes. It seems we're doing okay. It seems like everyone... We just got to learn here. Oh, this guy is great. Expending everyone's champions with Frost Giant. Throw those in my deck, man. Where's that other guy? Where's that nuts card that, like... Okay, let's listen to the story. One giant remains, and you take your final blow. As he falls to the ground, the villagers who had stayed back to watch the battle cheer from the hills above the valley. Although you have saved parts of the villagers' property, you aren't done with your task. You force open the jaw of the final giant. The villagers watch in confusion. As you reach inside of the large corpse's mouth, you pry the sapphire-colored soul stone off of the giant's tooth. Yes! You absorb the power of his soul gem slower than any of the others, no. because the memory it retained was much longer. Hmm? You remember the moment you died. Oh. The feeling of the blade going through your chest. Oh. You remember your powerful body being drained across the mortal lands. Your eyes look up at your killer, but his face is fuzzy. Hmm. Then, the image fades. Ah, I'm after my killer. So basically, I got killed, and my soul went into soul stones, which are now inside all the baddies across the land. And that's what I'm hunting, to regain my memories, so that I can I can avenge my own death. Is basically what I think is going on here. Am I right? Am I right? Anyone know the lore here? Dragon attack. Bare trees, burnt plants, and large bones scatter the ground. A scaly creature emerges, then more follow. Oh, great. After wandering through the meadows, you come across a patch of bare land with no vegetation or creatures left alive. Only bare trees, burnt up plants, ash, and large bones are scattered around on the ground. Oh, my. Large rocks guard the other side of the terrain. A familiar urge takes over your body, and you feel that a part of you is hidden somewhere inside of the Badlands. I feel it. An enraged billow echoes off to the rocky walls across from you, and an enormous rock in the center of the plain starts to shake. It's not a rock. Large, dark gray wings extend out from each side. Oh. A face unfolds from the rock as the creature rises. 
It's rock. Its blood red gaze burns your eyes if you look for too long. It's not a rock. The dragon opens its mouth. It's a dragon. And lets out a burst of flame. Oh my gosh. It's it's Hearthstone, man. It's like all will burn right now. Okay, guys, we're going to find out what dragons do. And it feels like it's going to be bad, man. <laughs> dragon's going to kill us. So it seems like usually it takes me one one mission to feel out the, the deck, right? This kind of makes sense. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay, I think. Next level plays. Next level plays, guys. Next level plays. It's a camp. That's why you're here, right? <laughs> All right, we have no idea what dragons do. I assume dragons just murder everything. So how do we counter murder everything? How many missions are there in the tutorial campaign? I don't know. It didn't let me, like, choose. It just said tutorial campaign. Like, it, it didn't even let me say, like, nah, I don't want to do tutorial campaign. Let me do the real campaign. So, I don't know. If, if there's a tutorial campaign, I imagine there's a lot more stuff. I mean, I uh, maybe... Let's see. Let's see if I can dig that up, dude. Let's see. For you, Bill. I mean, uh, you know, high elevation brain, Bill. I'd assume you would know before I knew. Let's see here. Uh, No, that's the update. Where's the website for that? I wonder if I click this. No, this is going to bring me to the download the app thing. No, I need to go to the website. I think it's epiccardgame.com. And then if you go to the digital section, it breaks down. Uh, like there's a million links over here. There's a card game on Reddit. There's a big following to this, apparently. There's Star Realm stuff. Where's just the website? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure it's on the site. I think it does say it. I can research, but I'm really relying on you for my facts. Oh, you just want me to do your legwork for you, is what you're saying. Oh, my gosh, man. All right. All right. All right. It's just epic card game. No, I don't want the Kickstarter. Epic card game. Boom. Epiccardgame.com, Bill. Bill. All right, Epic Digital App. It says here, uh, for free, play through the story campaign, learning the ropes against the AI. So maybe it's just the tutorial uh, campaign is all it is before you go online. Challenge a friend or anyone in the world to play. Practice any deck against the AI. Play as many draft, constructed, or random 30, aka sealed, games as you like. <laughs> Lyle's not here. Someone had to fill in. Exactly. So I don't know. It might just be a tutorial campaign with this kind of story we're playing. Campaign mode. No, it's just a, it's just a picture. Um, apparently, mission nine is against the timekeepers. Spoiler. Uh, what are we on? Mission five. So there's a lot of missions. I mean, there's at least nine if this, if this image holds true on their website. So we'll have to wait and see. We we'll have to wait and see what we, what we dig up here. If we even survive that long, I bet we won't even survive that. Because this is, I mean, so far this is kind of fun. It's kind of a fun little campaign. Kind of simple challenges. You know, I kind of like. You know, I'm going away. So I'm out of town for, uh, not on Monday. Monday, we're playing Mystic Veil. Vale. Don't forget, Mystic Veil. Vale. Mystic Veil vale Digital Unveiling. Woo! Courtesy Nomad Games, AEG fans out there. Uh, Mystic Veil's vale happening Monday, um, day stream, 11 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to be rocking that. Uh, come check it out with us. But uh, on top of that, I will be gone the end of next week. So I'm excited to play this, try this, like, on the road a little bit. as like a mobile game. Now that I'm grasping it versus trying to, like... I don't know. Like, I enjoy Star Realms and stuff when I'm just on my phone. Uh, against the AI, it's a little weird. The, the hard AI in Star Realms is hard. Um, and then playing, playing people online varies. So, I don't know. <laughs> Three missions ahead of me, says Session. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going, dude. I'm, I'm trying hard. All right. We don't know what dragons do. Let's try to pick our optimal starting play based on what we've learned. Uh, Force Giant, good stuff. Flame Strike, good stuff, but maybe not to start. Standalone. I don't know. We need dudes. But we've got a dude. I like a dude and drawing cards turn one. Plus we have Courageous Soul. Uh, we don't need Banishment. Because that always seems to hurt me. So I'm going to get rid of this guy in Flame Strike for now. And hope for the best. Of course, I, I always mulligan and then I die. And then I come back, don't mulligan and win. You know? Um, so we got a Force Giant. We could pay a buck. Let's do this because we have... We drew another standalone. Let's burn our... Let's burn our coin. <gasps> Ooh! We got our vanishing, we got our vanishing javelin thrower combo for six damage. Um, right off the bat, we have our force giant. Let's get our courageous soul out. I bet, I bet dragons are just gonna blast us with fire here, and I'm gonna regret this immediately. But I feel if we can establish the board, 
we got a good chance at winning. Right between the <clears throat> um, we'll wait on that. It's free, and I don't have my coins, so maybe I'll want to draw more cards. Let's see. Let's see what this dragon boy does. All right, guys, incoming dragon cards. Oh, good. AOE. <clears throat> I saw that coming from him. That, that fire sound effect. God. Okay, we got flying. We're going to deal with a lot of... Oh, my God. Relax, Dra Dra Dracaris. Airborne. Everything's airborne. Tribute, draw a card. You may banish up to three target token champions. All right, he does not want me to have tokens, so my, my other dudes are no good. 5-6 for free and airborne? How am I going to handle airborne dudes? Oh, boy. I mean, at least this now. On my turn, I can bounce one of those guys. Um, I've got a free gold here. <laughs> that This this dude is going to get slaughtered by Dr Dracaris. Hmm. What do we do? Uh, do I want to bounce one of their dudes or just make dudes? Now that they killed my dude. I almost want to draw more cards. I think I'm going to use this to draw more cards. Because if we can get... Yeah, we can get a big boy. Oh, no, we didn't get the big boy I wanted. I was hoping to get, like, Kong or something. Um, all right. My turn! My turn! My turn! Ooh, for, that's good, but I can't defend against flying. That's bad. Can't defend against flying. So... Well, he's free, so he's coming out. Mm -hmm. We can pay a buck to draw a card, or I could stand alone. That would kill me. That's, that would be stupid to do now. Um, I think I get my other big boy out. We're going to have to take some damage. I think... So, can airborne defend against... Airborne champions may only be blocked by other airborne champions. I believe they can block me, though, if I attack with force giant. Let's see. Because I can't defend with these guys anyway. Draw a card, you may put a champion in your hand and play. Oh my gosh, he has a surprise attack card? Oh, good. Unbanishable. Your dragon gets 5-5? Five, five? That's... Look, what? This... I, I don't know. What? Like, so usually in, like, these card games, right? Like, you'd have multiple gold. And you would say, like... Thundarus, this giant dragon would cost you five gold versus one gold or two gold since it gives all your dragons five five and just build a dragon deck. But why is this dragon one gold? I know you get one gold every turn, right? To play a, a gold creature. But why is this one gold? And then why is this one gold? Right? I mean, that, that seems a little nuts. Like, especially if you're building decks, uh, that seems nuts to me. Um... I mean, I get that you can just out... I don't know, dude. I know I'm bad mode, but... These are all flying, too. Like, I'm super dead. Yeah, you only ever have one gold. It just seems a little nuts. It just seems a little nuts. And plus, he played this freaking card, which lets him play for free. So he paid a gold to this to draw a card and play out a 10-15 dragon that gives 5-5 five, five to his other dragons on the board. That I can't defend unless I have flying. Just me? Just me? Seems a little weird. Okay. Just me. Just me. And apparently, flying can defend ground damage. And I think that's similar to... I'm going to try to at least take out one of them, right? I think that's similar to magic, right? From f when flying... I did my math. <laughs> it looks like you'll be standalone next turn. Yes. It looks that way. But he's just going to pick this 1015. Um, who do I want to defend with? I can't kill him off with that guy. I mean, I could go human time. I think that's what we have to do. I mean, if I play standalone right now, it's not going to help me. Humans are coming out. Is he going to wipe my humans? Oh, airborne. I can't, I can't defend it. I totally forgot. We just went over this. Oh, great. Oh, high fidelity 
fire sound effect. That's really loud. Ah! Oh my gosh! What was that thing? Hasty retreat. Return target attacking champion to its owner's hand if it was attacking you and was unblocked. Its controller draws a card. For free. So he pulled his dude back? Wow. Oh, it's my turn. I can kill everybody. So that's good. There's also standalone here where he has to choose one. I wonder which one he'll choose. This one? Or this one? Probably this one. <laughs> um, what the butts? I mean, he can't... So, if I do standalone and keep my mythic monster... I mean, I could try to start just going crazy with my attacks, I guess, and then play standalone after I attack, and then attack with Mythic Monster. And just see if he tries, just try to pull some cards out of his hand because he doesn't know I have standalone. That could be tricky, right? That could be tricky guy. That could be a tricky guy. Versus just wiping everyone. Let's try to be tricky guy. Because I can't defend these things. I think we got to get tricky. Let's see what he does. Uh, okay, he's going to return it to my hand. No? What did he do? Oh, he did the other side of it. Oh, he paid a buck to draw two cards. Great. Oh, he hasn't declared blockers yet. I see. Oh, he's just going to take the damage. I think he's on to me fine. I'm going to attack with this then. Okay. He's just taking the damage. Oh, he's, he's, uh, oh, did I just win? Of course not. Of course not. Or oh, maybe. Wait, what? How come? Deal 2 damage to each champion and player? Oh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. That was easy. <laughs> we won, guys. Woo! <laughs> Mythic Mermook. <laughs> he must not have had anything in his hand seeing how he had to draw those two cards and he wasn't like crazy giant where he's like, ah, I'm just going to throw out a thousand dudes. He literally just did wipes for no reason. He couldn't handle the big boys. Okay. Let's open a chest and get that giant 5-5 five -five dragon for one cost one time. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Not that we have any other dragons. I don't think we have any other dragons. Maybe we get Silver Dragon now. At least we have a dragon. We have something airborne. Oh, story. After time. landing your final blow, you watch as the fearsome creature falls from the sky. Its body curls up again like a large boulder. Get wrecked. Its face is left motionless with its eyes still open. You can barely believe that you killed it. Now I have to learn a you word You close the this scaly was... eyelids and place your palm on the creature's forehead. The red gem bursts into your hand faster than any of the other gems. <coughs> the powers and memories surge into your brain. Your breathing quickens as you feel the energy moving through you. You remember him, your brother, oh, my brother. his face. As he smiled above you, after he stabbed you in the back, the way he put the blade away, as if nothing had even happened. He abandoned your body and left you to rot. Wow. The anger begins to flow through your veins. You let out a scream, and it echoes back to you. You know what you have to do. Lyle did this. Why did he do this to me? I know now. It escalated very quickly. <laughs> That's true. I could call Griffin.
Oh, dinos! The ground shakes from a rumbling in the distance. Stampede! Stampede! After climbing up the rocks beyond the dragon's den, you can spot a jungle beneath the wall. It feels like you are going the right way, although you do not feel any particular soul gem urges. I'm pissed you off. walk along the path <laughs> until you come across some travelers in torn up garments screaming and running for their lives. Stampede! Stampede! You watch as a terrifying T-Rex and two fearsome Triceratops <laughs> manage to break through a whole section of the jungle. Okay. They turn, running at full speed towards you. No! <laughs> God dang. Dude, this is worse than a uh, Saurian. <laughs> Yo, this this story escalated quickly, and suddenly this is happening. This went from wolves to dudes to giants to dragons, but I mean that felt like we're that felt that felt somewhat fin fantasy realistic, and now we're in dinosaur land, getting attacked by giant dinosaurs, dude. What? All right, okay. Let's go. Let's see what happens with dinosaurs. It's probably our last one we can get in today. Let's do it, man. Dun, dun, dun. This is it. this is what ESPN's about, man. Dun, dun, dun. Crit Camp ESPN. Uh, we just fought dragons. Now we fight dinosaurs. Look at this dinosaur stampede. This is nuts. Um, what do we think dinos do? <laughs> do they just ward all the time and capture all your amber and get real big, real strong, real fast? And then combo like crazy? <laughs> That was gonna have Bathos Gaming, thank you so much for the bits, man. Kill them dino bits. Thanks, dude, for the 100 bits, man. Yes, we're gonna kill dinos. <laughs> Next, it'll be tiny green men, you know, Mars or something. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. What have we been mulliganing away? Well, we got our Kong again. So we have a 36-card deck. He has a 25-card deck. Hmm. His deck seems more, like, perfect. And you can't... I don't think you can, like... Obviously, you can't, like, die from... You can't mill in this game. <laughs> All right. So, we've got a pot. I think we need to toss some of this stuff. Um, and we need to draw some cards. Turn one, drawing cards is always good. Uh, Palace Guard's a good reactionary card. Maybe we'll toss... I mean, we don't know what dinos do, but... Okay, we'll get rid of Grave Demon. We'll hold on to Kong for later. Okay, I think we get rid of Palace Guard. What are we going to play? We need to draw cards, man. Well, we're going to see what we're going to draw, I guess. Um, Let's get rid of Standalone. No, let's get rid of Apocalypse, because I don't want to kill off my dudes. Let's hold on to Kong. That's probably a good call. We'll get rid of three. All right, we didn't get the nuts, guys. We're going to lose. Game over. Oh, we got a dragon, though. We don't know if he has tokens yet. So maybe we throw it nuts. That's like a defensive play. Maybe this we're just drawing cards, guys. Maybe it's draw cards. React with uh react with Kong next turn. Or do we go airborne? I think we go airborne. Let's go airborne. We get to draw a card at least and we'll have a dude on the board. Uh there's no tokens to banish. And he's gonna say, what? Airborne? Brachiosaurus? Brachiosaurus? Oh, of course. OP card called Surprise Attack. Brachiosaurus? <laughs> T-Rex? What the heck? Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, what does T-Rex get to do on Tribute? I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay, yeah. Somebody, somebody op opened up a Saurian deck. Dude, now I wish I hadn't thrown away my Apocalypse card. Uh, I think we choose standalone. <laughs> yeah, standalone time. Exactly, dude. Uh, you played a lot of cards. Pick one. Let's let's just pick a card, okay? I'll, I'm gonna choose this one. <clears throat> of course he, of course he keeps T Rex. Of course he keeps T Rex. You got to draw two cards. Must attack each turn if able. That that seemed a little nuts. Okay, so let's see here. Um, 
This is an in phase. We don't really have anything we're doing here. Let's just pass. Okay, that was a little nuts. That was a little, uh... Oh, we got our four new card. New card? We can banish target champion. Player's turn it is puts two human tokens in play. So I get... If I play this, I could banish T-Rex, and I get two, two bros. Oh, and we got our javelin thrower, who we can get out. Or we could just kill this thing with Kong and get a body on the board. Get a body on the board. Which may be the play. Because Kong T-Rex is only actually a 10 to break. I think Kong coming out has been pretty nice. And then we go airborne into his face. As well as Javelin Thrower. Done. Get wrecked, T-Rex. <laughs> like this. Done. Right between the <clears throat> Right. She says right between the eyes, but I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like it's like the lowest sound effect in this game. Let's attack. Let's see what happens. What you got? What dinosaurs do you have that are flying? Do you have do, do, deal seven damage to everybody? He chose not to deal seven damage to everybody with Whirlwind. He drew two cards. He has no good cards. All champions and players. Look at that AOE card, man. That's a crazy card. Yo, this game's got some cards, dude. All right. He passed. I will sign the damage to your face. Um. Yeah, we're gonna pass to the pump. In return. Oh, so breakthrough is the uh, stomp thing where he can just oh double breakthroughs, triple breakthroughs because apparently this he, he can play it. God. Okay. Can I see what you played? Pay one if you do draw a card. Oh, they're free. 7-7, seven, seven, that's free. A 10-10 ten, ten with Breakthrough, and he got to draw a card for it, so he paid a buck there, and then he happened to draw another one of these. So he's got three dudes with Breakthrough, which means any damage unblocked, I I super did. Um, I have Unspent Gold. I might use this Forced Exile, but it's his turn. So if I, if I banish now for a buck... He's getting get he's gonna get humans. Humans instead of a dude. So do I care about that? I mean I could sack like this 10-10 with breakthrough and just give him two 1-1 one, one humans. And he's a he's got humans fighting for the dinosaur team. Which is kind of silly. And then I could sack him with consume. I might, oh, but I need to draw some cards. The card draw on that would be nice to get two cards right now. If we do the two, draw two cards and get some clearing, that could be pretty nice for next turn. We have so many cards in our deck now. I think I'm going to force his exile, dude. I, we need to get rid of this. This, this is going to get out of control. A 10-10 with breakthrough is really annoying. I can at least handle one of the 7-7s. Seven I can handle those two with my... My flyer. I don't think these 1-1s one are going to be a worry. Okay. One card. Oh, nice. We got our big. We got our Positron Bolt. We got Positron Bolt. Positron Bolt combo into this. Consume. So we can handle one of these. We go Reign of Fire. 3-4-5. Um, so we can kill one of those trample dudes. Maybe we just do three, four, five and just see what he does. We kill off one of them with our consume and then we go hard mode, right? Because I want to put the five damage on because we're face hunter right now. I don't think he's going to do much with the, the one health dudes. Let's consume this guy because it's three damage. Okay, so if he wants to block with that guy. So he can't block this nine damage, actually. Hmm. I mean, we could try. We'll try something. I mean, I'll... 12 damage to target champion? 
Oh, come on, man. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's do this. He's probably just going to block it with one of his humans. But it pulls it off me. Well, I have this ambush card, so I'm going to keep attacking. Oh, because he can't kill it with a human. Okay, so he's going to put it on both. Well, four kills... How come he's a 9-9 nine -nine suddenly? Was that always a 9-9? Nine -nine? I thought there were sevens. What? Done. How? What? Did he do a thing? Oh, this. Gave 2-2 two, two to everybody. Oh, good play. I guess we're just going to have to fight it. Whatever. Apply. There's nothing I can do about that. I mean, even if I did all the damage. That, that card is a good card. Oh, my gosh. What? Tribute, you may break target champion with two or less armor. Okay. He doesn't have that. Yeah, this card was nuts. Dude, this guy's got some cards, man. Cards. 12 damage, and you get to buff dudes 2-2 two, two for that turn. Nice swing card. Nice swing card. Um, I'm just going to have to take seven damage, I think. Oh, well, I guess I can ambush it. He's not going to wipe it. Throw out a human. Block. Reduce some damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got our silver dragon back. You may banish up to tokens. He doesn't have tokens. Only I have tokens. Which is kind of uh, not good. Draw a card one time. Uh, I'm not going to banish any of my tokens. <laughs> we just need to have dudes on the board to stay alive with. Um, because he can't block with that. He can block with these two. Let's throw him out for free. Charge! I think I'm going to go in with my ape guy. Is he going to do anything? He's going to do seven damage to all champions and players. Oh! Oh, I had one guy survive. It worked out. Wow. What a turn, man. That was a crit on his turn. He did that giant whirlwind wipe for seven damage across the board. Y'all yeah, pay a dollar, get some dudes out. I just gotta get fi I just gotta get my fire strike or flame strike. Flame strike? There's three damage. Oh jeez, that thing's loud as hell. <laughs> Sorry guys. These these levels are everywhere. I'm just gonna keep up. Right between the eyes. Go for the face. Oh, I think we got this if uh, he doesn't block it with something weird. I think his AoE attacks hurt us all. Oh no. What what champion is coming in? Nope, just blocks it there. Okay. <laughs> Fair? Is this is it my my human gonna save the day? Human take down the T-Rex! We killed the dinos, guys. We are the Dino Masters right now. We are. Who's the Dino Captain now? Right here. Right here. Dino Captain. We did it. We did it. We did it. That one, we're getting good. We're getting good. We're getting good, but those dino cards are nuts. Oh my gosh. This card has some... Str I mean, I guess what they did is they just made every strong card in the world and made it one cost. I mean, a 10-10 for one with the breakthrough ability. I'm unstoppable now. That's right. Dude, mission complete. After killing two Triceratopses, the T-Rex charges past you and continues down the jungle path. You start to feel an urge to go on the path that the dinosaurs created when they broke through the jungle. The jungle seems to feel endless. At last, you come to the end of the path that leads you to a large stone wall with a cave entrance. There is nowhere else to go, no. and the caves are calling to you. Uh-oh, we're going caving, guys. We're going spelunking. Next mission would be spelunking mission. 
Next mission is Spelunking Mission, but for today, I think we're backing out, and that's where that's where we gotta sign off for today, guys. This is where we gotta sign off for today for the epic card game, digital card game. Um, let us know what you think. Smash subscribe, hit like. <laughs> um, what did you guys think? What do you guys think of the game? What do you guys think of this thing? I think it's pretty freaking cool. I mean, I, I at first was real bad because I really just needed to practice with it. And I played about, I really ground out three games against the AI in that beginner mode like we did earlier with the evil type thing to sort of feel out these phases. Now it sort of makes sense. It makes, uh, it makes good sense. I don't know. I mean, I haven't played it RL to a say like, okay, uh, I'm attacking now. You have an opportunity. I have an opportunity. You have an, I'm done now. Pass. It's your turn. Um, it's sort of, you start grasping it and letting the AI do a lot of it for me. So if I was to sit down in person, I'm sure I'd be like, all right, I'm attacking. Do you have things? But, um, I think it's pretty simple. I mean, I think it's very similar to if it has a magic, the gathering feel like the TCG feel, um, the keywords you start to learn, you know, and that helped me a lot. Just learning the keywords and getting used to the, um, you know, the wording, the keyword thing of it all. Um, but can't stop now. I have four more goblin archers to paint. Oh man. Got to post them in the discord, post them in the discord. Um, but no, I think the game's great. I, I, the fact that it's free and all this content we played today is completely free. All the cards are free. I mean, I'm unlocking cards by playing through the tutorial campaign, which I, I assume, uh, I mean, it's free, but I think even when you jump in here and let's say you go like, so if I jump back over to the, uh, the gameplay screen here and you go over to like deck builder, uh, let's say add deck. Let's just take a quick look at this before we sign off. I mean, I think you have the entire collection unlocked without having to play through the game, I think. Like, you just sort of go through and you can flip through the cards and then start building your decks. And once again, this is the mobile version of the game. This is not the Steam version of the game. Steam version comes out officially tomorrow. So it may have a little bit different look to the UI and everything, but this is the mobile uh, iPad version, which I've been playing today. Um, you just add cards and you build a, I assume a 36 card deck, maybe more. I forgot what the maximum is on, on the deck. Maybe there isn't. I mean, maybe there is a maximum, but maybe there's not a minimum since you don't have to put mana in. There's no mana cards. So you're not play, putting in, you know, when you're building a magic deck, having to keep in mind all that stuff. Um, is there a limit to how many factions? I don't know if I want, I don't think so. It's like, I think people were just like, you know, the decks they were giving us, it had like. You know, there's all four factions right there. I think you can just do whatever you want. You can clear the deck. Um, you can go by expansion. You can go fast. Oh, they'll show you the fast cards, slow cards. Here's all the free stuff. I don't know. Gold? What does gold mean? Oh, like free cards to play. Gold, ones that cost one gold on your turn. The champions, the event cards. So they have it pretty well organized. Oh, unowned. What if we go owned? Unowned? Unowned. I don't know if unowned is changing anything. Owned? Free? Gold? All? How do I go to all? Foils. Non-foils? Okay. Non-foils. Am I turning on, like, owned? Unowned? I don't know. I don't know how that... I have to go through this and see what's going on there. But, um, yeah. You can do the deck building thing. So it looks like you can just start making decks, doing your own thing. You can play against the AI. You can do the campaign mode, which we started doing mostly today here. You got the tutorial always available to you. You have the store, but they were saying in the store, um, it's mostly just for foils. As you can see down there, uh, it's 200 gold. I, I don't know how you earn gold. I assume if you play online, you earn coins and stuff like that with wins, stuff like things. You get different boards, deck slots. I don't own any deck slots. <laughs> I haven't done anything like that, but... Pretty much, it's a free-to-play game, I've, I've been told, except for competitive-level events, where they said, I think, entries will be maybe coins um, that maybe you have to earn by playing online, by playing free tournaments, maybe. Don't take my word for it. You can ask White Wizard Games, um, but they I did read somewhere that the the paid events will be there for winning winning stuff. That'll be that'll be the paid modes. But otherwise, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed Epic Cardia. I appreciate everyone hanging out today. Um, I saw a lot of people kind of popped in and then popped out. Uh, it was awesome having you guys talk, discuss the game. Check it out with me. Uh, Solo Moon Mittens Day without Lyle here. Uh, this would be fun to play um, with you guys. We could even do this as a community game if you check it out since it's free and cross-platform. 
Um, it would be fun to check out the Steam version. Uh, I'm going to be interested in getting Lyle in on this, having him check it out, because when we get into these games, usually, at least it happened with Star Realms, it happened with um, Ascension, uh, it happened with a lot of those games. We get into it, we start playing like on our phones, and we'll have like four games going at a time, and it's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> so um, I definitely recommend checking it out. I don't know if we've been dropping. We've been dropping offline now. We're good. Um, and all that good stuff. But uh, I hope you guys check it out. It was fun. Something to experiment with. And again, it's free. So go over there. Epic Card Game. iOS, Android, Steam tomorrow. I'm signing off for today. I'll see you guys on Monday for our big... Uh, we got Mystic Veil vale joining the stream lineup. Woo! So Mystic Veil vale Digital, courtesy of Nomad Games, uh, who's been making this. They made the Smash Up app. Uh, they made the Talisman Digital app. Um, they've been doing this for, they made this game here for AEG, Mystic Veil. It's available on Steam right now. Go get it. It'll be coming out on March 12th for the Switch. So we're kind of, we've talked to them. They're our new buddies over there. We're going to start doing some hype building and have some fun in Mystic Veil. We've been meaning to do it for a long time anyway. Um, and if you haven't played Mystic Veil, it's a card sleever's dream in real life. Uh, we don't get to sleeve cards in the digital version, which I fun is the fun tactile version of that game, but... Um, it'll be fun to dive into deck builder. If you're not familiar with it, uh, beautiful card art again, just like, uh, the Epic game we saw today. Uh, so come check it out with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. And PAX East is next week. Says his mighty games. Whoa, hype dude. Have fun. Some, one of these years we'll make it to PAX East. One of these years. Is it sold out? Did it sell out this year again? I don't know, but that's a perfect PAX for you, Chris. That's perfect PAX for you. Um, go check. I think they're going to be showing this game there too. I'd, I'd like to try this game in real life. But I don't know about building decks anytime soon. It doesn't sell out badges. Hotels are way sold out. Uh, well, if we ever come up there, we're just going to stay with you, right? That's cool. You're down with that. We just, Lyle and I crash at your place. And then we just play games all night. And then we go play curling when we're not at the con. And then we go to the con. And then we just play more games all night and hang out. That would be fun. We should do that sometime. <laughs> sometime we'll make it up to Boston, man. Then we got to go to the Cheers bar, too, because of tourist. Because hashtag tourism and i'm still watching cheers still finishing up my cheers watch through it's gonna be a lot of fun but take care guys we appreciate the support again come join us monday mystic veil vale. it's gonna be a blast peace good gaming have a good weekend see you on monday bye go check out epic card game it's free take me on if you want to hop in the discord and challenge me to a battle i'm down i'll down let's do it on mobile rock and roll bye guys appreciate it see you soon bye